This is St. Clair College, headed by its chairman and president, Dr. Clarita G. Adela. And by the government, with the following recognition, accreditation and awards. Bureau of Immigration Accreditation, to accept foreign students. Approved accreditation to accept foreign students. AAFS number RADJR 2012-048. Commission on Higher Education. Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. GR number 108, Series of 2000. Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English and Mathematics. GR number 007, Series of 2001. Bachelor of Elementary Education. GR number 008, Series of 2001. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. GR number 005, Series of 2002. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration major in Management. GR number 013, Series of 2002. Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. GR number 063, Series of 2011. Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. GR number 038, Series of 2015. Department of Education. Senior High School Program. GP number SHS 0258, Series of 2015. Track, Academic. Strand, Accountancy, Business and Management, Humanities and Social Sciences. GP number SHS 0258, Series of 2015. Track, Arts and Design. GP number SHS 0258, Series of 2015. Track, Sports Track. GP number SHS 0258, Series of 2015. Track, TechVoke. Strand, Information Communication and Technology, Computer Programming and Animation. GP number SHS 0258, Series of 2015. Track, TechVoke. Strand, Home Economics, Food and Beverage Services, Bread and Pastry Production, Housekeeping, Tour Guiding Services, Travel Services, Caregiving. GP number SHS 0258, Series of 2015. Department of Education. Complete Nursery Kindergarten Course. GR number P047, Series of 2002. Complete Elementary Course. GR number E024, Series of 2002. Complete Secondary Course. GR number S05, Series of 2005. Technical Education and Skills Development Authority. Programming NC4. Computer Technicians. Data Encoder. Computer Hardware Servicing. Hotel and Restaurant Servicing. Housekeeping NC2. Commercial Cooking NC2. Food and Beverages Services NC2. Bartending NC2. Baking and Pastry Production. Travel Services NC2. Front Office Services NC2. Tour Guiding Services NC2. Caregiver NC2. Call Center Agent NC2. Medical Transcription NC2. Household Services NC2. Emergency Medical Technician. AXQ Accredited. Level 2 Accreditation. Association of Christian Schools, Colleges and Universities. Royal Institution, Singapore. RIAEIO, 201700027. Award of Distinction FAPSA. Federation of Associations of Private Schools and Administrators. Award of Distinction Caprice. Kala Okan Association of Private Schools. Acer Academy Platinum Member. Platinum Award Acer Academy. PBA D League Champion. 2019 PBA D League Foundation Cup Champion. This is St. Clair College, the leading edge in online education system and school of life skills. Now, signing on. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
St. Clair College Vision and Mission Vision To become the leading institution, for professional development, and the first and foremost provider of quality, affordable, and sustainable development education. Mission To provide quality, and excellent global education, for the total development of a responsible, innovative, skillful and professional global workforce, whose values and dignity are beyond far. St. Clair College Core Values St. Clair College aims to foster distinction and excellence in all the endeavors of the school community members. All stakeholders are envisioned to be imbued with enduring core values, which define and shape the central beliefs and character of every genuine Clarion student, employee and administrator, within and beyond the premises of the academic institution. Hereafter are the core values of St. Clair College. Star that shines. All members of the school community are encouraged to extremely remarkable standards in attaining excellence in every aspect of life making them role models who possess values and character that are worth emulating. Truthfulness Truthfulness is characterized by embracing honesty in thoughts, words, and deeds of all concerned individuals who are part of the school community. Compassion Selflessness and genuine character for others, and instilled in clarions through constant exposure to various academic, extracurricular, and co-curricular activities that will bring out their compassionate attitude. Love. Love for oneself, for others, and for noble causes are pivotal in cultivating a well-rounded individual, who embodies unwavering desire and sustained commitment in every undertaking. 
Amiability. Displaying a friendly disposition and pleasant attitude towards other people inspires positive rapport and desirable outcomes. Righteousness. All concerned members are expected to uphold the ideals and moral principles of the institution as a reflection of their integrity and dignity. Ever loyal. Remaining steadfast to the ideals and the good name of the institution is a desirable impression ingrained in the minds and hearts of all the members of the school community. The St. Clair College hereby declares the following principles. The college shall contribute to the realization of sustainable development goals. The college shall promote quality and excellence, access and equity, efficiency and effectiveness, and relevant and responsive education. The college shall help accelerate the socio-economic development of the national capital region and the entire country by making college education affordable and accessible. Qualities of a St. Clair College graduate Intellectual creativity, critical thinking and innovativeness. Graduates can use their imagination, as well as their national thinking, abilities, and innovation, in order to adopt and adjust to the changing needs of the time, both nationally and globally. Effective communication. Graduates are proficient and skillful in the four areas of communication, reading, writing, listening and speaking. They can use these skills, in solving problems, and articulating their thoughts when engaging people in various situations. Leadership Effectiveness and Managerial Skills Graduates are developed, to become the best professionals, in their respective specialization by exploring leadership competencies, managerial skills and technical know-how. Sense of Nationalism and Global Responsiveness Graduates are nationalists, and respect the values of global citizenship. Personal and Professional Ethical Standard of Excellence Graduates demonstrate desirable strength, of character and attitudes, in their personal and professional endeavors. Quality Service and Collaboration Graduates exemplify the potentialities of an efficient, responsible, and well-rounded professional committed to quality service, honest toil and collaboration. Adeptness in the use of information, and communications technology, and modern facilities. Graduates are skillful and knowledgeable in the use of digital learning devices, facilities, including technical and numerical skills. Community Engagement. Graduates assure an active role in organizing projects, programs, and activities to help and advance the interest and welfare of the people, in their respective communities. Passionate to perpetual learning. Graduates are committed, to continuously advance their knowledge, and technical skills in order to keep themselves abreast, to the needs and challenges of their professions, both nationally and globally. Strong sense of spiritual and moral values. Graduates are morally and spiritually upright, in their day-to-day -day undertaking. Isang maligayang pagbabalik, St. Clair College. Today is August 22, 2022, and we are in our third year of our startup module as we officially welcome the school year 2022-2023. This is still your teacher, DJ Adi, with Miss Marites Cochado. Welcome back, Clarians, and good morning, class. Talaga naman, we have more reasons to celebrate this August. Bukod nga po sa official opening ng school year 2022-2023, ay makakasama po natin ang iba't ibang guest po natin ngayong araw. No? Unang-una na nga lang po dyan, ang celebration natin ng buwan ng wika kung saan ang St. Clair College po ay naghanda ng iba't ibang activities para sa ating mga estudyante. 
Kasama na rin po dyan ang halos apat na dekada ng pagbibigay ng quality education as we are about to celebrate our 37th founding anniversary dito sa St. Clair College. At syempre ang pinakahihintay natin lahat, one of the biggest celebration dito sa atin sa St. Clair College, ang President's Birthday, no? Ang pangkarawan po na nag-iisang Dr. Clarita G. Adalim, malapit na malapit na po yan. Kaya naman again, welcome back to our Clarians. No? In line with that, i-shoutout naman po natin ang ating 3.3 thousand viewers. Hello, good morning sa inyong lahat dyan. Kamusta? Miss na miss na natin tayo lahat dito sa St. Clair. Kaya naman batiin natin ang ating mga estudyante. Tingnan natin dito ano, si Julifer Bartolo. Ayan, good morning po Sir Adi. From BSHM to si Aba, meron na agad representative ang HM Department. Nandiyan din si Wendiza Bon. Good morning po from BSBA. Aba, meron na rin from BSBA. Basahin pa natin. No? Damihan natin ang ating mga shoutouts kasi for sure na-miss natin ang ating mga mahal na estudyante. Reggie May, boss boss. Ayan, good morning po. Nandiyan din si Rona May Nadal o BSHM Department din. Very good ah. Kasama rin natin si Camille Kate Romorosa. Good morning daw Sir Adi. Good morning din sa iyo Kate. Siyempre, kasama rin natin si Riza Jane Caniete. Good morning. Good morning to Wyatt April Aguas from BS Tourism. Ayan, o BSTM. May representative na rin sila. De La Cruz Lovejoy, good morning sa'yo. Good morning then again to Angel, uh, Angel Frigiliano Silvano. Ayan, nakakatawa naman. No? Napakarami ng ating, again, 3.4 na. Kaya naman, guys, no, again, we are live via St. Clair online YouTube channel. Kung meron pa kayong mga classmates, kaibigan, tropa, beshies, kabarkada, at kahit ang inyong buong pamilya, no, tawagin na sila, silang lahat at tumutok na tayo sa ating startup module day one. Ayan, nabatiin na natin again sila. We have Mikaela Oclarino. Good morning po, Sir Adi from ABM. O meron na tayo from Senior High School, no? Good morning din sa'yo, Charles Fontanila Goyon. Ayan, magandang umaga. We also have Cristaline San Pascual, BSBA. From Yums naman, no? Senior High School din. Adrian Catedrilla. O ngayon, yung mga gustong pabati dyan at gusto mong pa-shoutouts, no? I-type lang inyong pangalan at hashtag good morning class na tayong lahat. Good morning to Neil Andre Baile. Ayan, from 11A3. Shout out daw sa kanyang advisor, Ma'am Janice Estrella. Start the day with right, uh, start the day, uh, day right with a smile. Ayan, no? Sabi ni J. Mark Matan from 11 ICT. Good morning din, uh, from Edoc Department naman, si Jonalyn Barshal. Good morning po, from BS Ed English. Sabi ni Miss Huang. Ayan, napaganda ng kanyang uh, nickname, no? Good morning po to everyone and to Teacher Abigail, Grade 1. O meron rin tayo from our elementary, si Ashley Light. Ayan. Sige, keep your shoutouts and comments coming para mabasa ni Sir Adi live na live. Ayan, RJ A. Lee from Grade A, advisor po si Sir Joseph Solomon. Ayan, very good ang ating mga elementary students. Talaga namang nakatutok sila. From TVL ICT naman, Lindy Hanan Kamana. Good morning po Sir Adin. Good morning St. Clair College. Maligayang pagbabalik. Ayan, very good si Mark Terence Taghap. Okay, good morning po from BSBA3A from Patrick Cadalin. Nakakatuwa no talaga nung bumubuhos ang ating mga comments at shoutouts. Ang bilis, no? Ayan, basahin natin. Adrian Catredilla. Ayan, tingnan pa natin sino pa nandito. Jiggy Vernon Espiritu from Tourism Department. Ayan, good morning po, sir. King Vincent Gudoy from BSHM. Ayan, tingnan po natin. Hi, sir, Adi. Birthday po ni Meng today. O, oh, happy birthday daw kay Meng. Sabi ni Prince John Lord Andales. From Yums, 12.5, Maricel Velos. Ayan, napakarami ng shoutouts natin. Medyo dadagdagan pa natin kasi talagang na-miss natin ang ating good morning class episode at ang uh, ating interaction sa ating mga estudyante, no? Tignan natin, nandito pa si, ayan, James Lobos, good morning po, from AB Political Science 1A. Good morning po sa ating lahat, greetings from BED3A, yan ay sabi ni Lovely Ann Serato. Okay, good morning po, from Joshua Biko, from grade 11B5, 
from Travel Services, Pinky Sahurda. Ayan na, good morning po sa lahat. Welcome back, Clarians. Ayan, pa-shoutout naman po. Asirilin Etang, pa-shoutout from Julio's official account. Ayan, di ba? Napakaganda ng ating mga mensahe, no? Again, kung meron din kayo mga teachers, advisors na gustong batiin, i-comment na yan lahat dito sa ating comment box para mabasa at mabati natin sila live na live. Good morning po, Rain Esparago from BSCS Department. Ayan, may representative na rin ng ating BSCS Department. Have a blessed morning, Clarians. Pabati naman ni Jessel Matan. Kasama rin natin, Busa Maria Cristina from Grade 11 ICT. Ayan, tingnan pa natin. Napakabilis na nakakatuwa naman. Talagang active na active at sobrang excited na sa pagbabalik. Eskwela ang ating mga mahal na Clarians. No? Pabati po kay Nicole Rose Ledres. Birthday po niya o oh, happy birthday yan ha? From Good Morning Class Family. Good morning po from BSTM. Okay, pa-shoutout po Sir Adi to my advisor Sir Julius De Gula from Grade 11 C4. Okay, very good. So maya-maya lang mga ibabasahin pa po natin ang napakarami pa nating shoutouts dahil talaga na-miss natin ang ating mga estudyante. Kaya naman, I would like to take this opportunity to inform everyone na nag-open na tayo ng school year but enrollment is still ongoing. No? Bukas pa po ang ating enrollment. All you have to do is to go to sinclaironline.com slash IMS. Uulitin ni Sir Adi, ha? sinclaironline.com slash IMS for the enrollment. We have the basic education department from preschool to elementary to junior high school. We also have senior high school and also, of course, our tertiary or college department. Again, that is sinkeronline.com slash IMS. Pwede rin tayo mag-walk-in enrollment. Punta na po tayo dito sa Sinclair College. We are open from Mondays to Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Again, Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. for walk-in enrollments naman po yan. Para naman sa ating mga mahal na estudyante na naka-enroll na po at gustong makita ang kanilang mga schedule, kanilang mga section, and more information, punta na po tayo sa sinkeronline.com slash L naman po this time ha, LMS. Nandyan po makikita natin ang college or tertiary corner, nandyan din ang senior high school corner, at ang basic education corner. Nandyan po nakapost ang inyong mga pangalan, ang inyong section, schedule, advisor, pati po ang ating calendar of activities para naman talaga tayo ay updated sa lineup of activities. And speaking of lineup of activities, we would like to inform our clearance, no? Na one week po itong ating programa, no? One week ang ating orientation. Kaya naman today is our startup module day one. Then the day two will be on Wednesday kung saan makakasama po natin ang nag-iisang attorney Petronilio Alarcon for our Unifast orientation. O alam ko yung ating mga college students ay excited na excited na para sa ating orientation. Ang dami mga questions kahapon. Oh, sir, pwede na ba magpasa ng requirements? Sir, kamusta po ang Unifast? Kaya naman masa masasagot po ang lahat ng inyong katanungan. Ngayong Wednesday, same time po, same channel. Sinker Online YouTube Channel, 9 a.m. to 12 noon po yan on Wednesday, Unifast Orientation, okay? Para naman po sa Friday, day 3 ng ating startup module, syempre ang ating mga senior high school naman for the senior high school voucher program orientation, makakasama po natin ang ating legal counsel, uh, um, attorney J. Paolo Adalem and more. Ayan o, para po sa mga list of our uh, activities for this entire week, Pwede po tayo mag-like and follow na po natin ang St. Clair College official Facebook page. I-type lang po ang St. Clair College. Nandiyan po nakapost ang ating activities for our startup module. Again, lahat po ito ay online activities. Okay? Online po yan. So, wala pa tayo ng ating tinatawag na face-to-face. -face, no? Tayo po ay naka-online this week. No? We would like to clarify po sa ating mga estudyante. Again, You can coordinate with your respective advisors for our basic ed and senior high school for the activities for this week and also to our tertiary department heads naman po for our college students. Ayan, magbalik-balik shoutout na naman po tayo. Okay, parami na ng parami po. 3.6. Okay, congratulations. Talaga namang active na active ang ating clearance. Palakpa ka naman natin. No? 3.6 po ang ating nakatutok na clearance. Kaya naman, i-shoutout po natin sila ulit 
from BSTM. Good morning po, Carlos Joaquin Bunagan. Kasama rin natin si Cherry Fabian from uh, BSBA for B. Aba, daming BSBA. Good morning po. Uwu. Ayan, pabati naman ni Alejo J. Aure. Kasama rin natin si Egan Balatbat. Aldrin Dakanay. Pa-shoutout naman po Sir Adi kay Lovely Ansirato, James Lebico, Mark Romano, Abigail Avanzado, at kay Anna Grace Riaso from BED. Aba talaga naman no, kahit nung no, year 1, year 2, kasi year 3 na tayo sa startup module. No, Kung baga third year anniversary na natin, nakatutok itong mga to. Kaya shoutout at maraming salamat sa inyo. Good morning po from Denny Toshi Riquez, BSHM. Good morning po sa lahat. Pa-shoutout po kay Kuya Manding. Birthday niya po ngayon. Ayan, shoutout daw po kay Sir Manding. Pa-shoutout naman po sa BSCA from Je uh, BSCS, sorry, Jesly Apostol. Ayan, kasama rin natin si Rhea Capesino, Denzi Marco. Ayan, um, good morning po, BSCS. Aba, dumadami na sila. Mariel Silvestre, pa-shoutout naman po. John Dexter Navarra, BSES 1F. Good morning po, Sir Adi. Good morning, Lenny Joy Pato. Kasama rin natin ngayong umaga na nakikigood morning sa atin, Nayar T. Yozon and Anna Rose Gomez. Ayan, napakarami talaga nating shoutouts. Don't worry, tuloy-tuloy lang po ang pag-comment para mabati natin kayo dito sa ating Good Morning Class episode for today. Ayan, speaking of the President's birthday, syempre, Mag-uumpisa tayo at hindi pwedeng wala ang ating uh, inspirational message at syempre to officially welcome our Clarians as we open the school year 22-23 ay makakasama natin maya-maya lamang again ang ating dear President, Dr. Clear. Adal na nakatutok ngayon sa ating good morning po to our dear Dr. Clear. Mga anak, no, this school year won't be possible without the hard work and perseverance of our Sinclair College Dynamic School officials. Sino-sino nga ba sila? Let's all watch this.
A big thank you and congratulations to our ever hardworking and dynamic school officials. Maraming maraming salamat po. Without your um, hard work po ay hindi talaga magiging possible ang school year na ito. Kaya naman sabay-sabay po nating palakpakan ang ating school officials, ang ating board of trustees ng St. Clair College, ang ating dear school administrators, ang ating dear school officials. Maraming maraming salamat po. Speaking of our school officials, maya-maya lamang po ay makakasama natin ang ilan sa ating mga school administrators to give their welcome message sa ating dear Clarians. Unang-una na po dyan ang ating principal for the Basic Education Department ang nagbabalik ka pamilya, Ms. Ruth S. Aquino for Beth, uh, St. Clair College para naman po sa Better Children of St. Clair Montessori Center kasama natin ang ating principal, Mr. Jonathan Mendoza. For the Senior High School Department, nandiyan din po si Ms. Maria Rebecca Palad. At syempre ang ating Tertiary Department or College Department, Ms. Mary Joy S. Aquino. Syempre from our Community Engagement Office, makakasama din natin to discuss to us ano nga ba ang mga paghahanda for our security sa ating health, no, ng ating uh, pagbabalik face-to-face -face kasama natin na nag-iisang attorney Petronilio Alarcon. Siyempre, to discuss to us ano nga ba ang netiquette at classroom behavior no? para sa ating both online at face-to-face -face classes. Makakasama natin ang ating Office of the Student Affairs Services Director, Dr. Catherine S. Pagulayan. Siyempre, no, kailangan talaga naman ang good values at character ng ating mga clerians. Kaya, i-welcome din tayo at magbibigay din ng mansaya ang ating Director of the Guidance Office, Dr. Lita S. Sagun. At maraming marami pa pong iba, babatiin nila tayo at syempre, i-welcome na nila tayo dito sa ating pagbubukas ng school year 2022-2023. At syempre, hindi natin makakalimutan ang ating surprise guest. Ayan, abangan natin maya maya lamang sino nga ba ang surprise guest ng ating Good Morning Class episode for today, Startup Module Day 1. Oh, excited na ba lahat? Kaya naman, again, kung meron pa kayo mga classmates, kaibigan, katropa, kapamilya na hindi pa nakatutok, tawagin na natin silang lahat dahil maraming maraming surpresa po ang nakahanda para sa inyo, our dear, uh, dear clarians para sa araw na ito. Again, no, ituloy natin yung mga shoutouts natin na basta kung dami na natin nakakatuwa yung mga shoutouts ng ating mga studyante. Aldrin Dakanay, pa-shoutout po, Teacher DJ Adi from BSBA 1A. From TVLICT, good morning po. Kenny Shane Quadra, ayan. Good morning din po, Manuel Leonil Alvarez from BSHM. Magandang araw po to all teachers and uh, students of St. Clair College. From BSCS, good morning and thank you po. More blessings to come. And God bless, we love you po. Napakaganda naman ang mensahe. Good morning din and we love you too. Jamel Zomil, ayan. Good morning po sa ating mga idol, Sir Adi. O idol din, Kenneth Astasio. Good morning sa'yo. Yan na good morning din po kay Prima Susaya. John Christian Manguera, good morning po. Pasyaura po sa aking mga teachers. Ayan, si Sir Sarmiento. Ayan, good morning po. Ang pogino advisor namin. Ayan, Sir Julius De Gula. Ayan, oh, keep it coming po kung gusto niyong batiin ang inyong mga kaibigan, mga kapamilya, inyong mga magulang, mga school officials for advisors, o ang inyong mga classmates. O kanina may nagbati pa dito ng kanyang crush. No? I-comment lang po yan para mabasa ni Sir Adi dito sa ating Good Morning Class episode. Good morning, Sir Adi. Pasyara po sa pinakamaganda naming advisor kay Kat Ochia, kay Ivy Pontol from BED 3A. Ayan na, good morning po to Ana Novela Panaga from TVLG3. Good morning, pasyara naman po sa asawa ko na taga St. Clair. Aba, from BSBA, si Cronica Villaver. Ayan, good morning po. Pa-shoutout naman po to Sir Julius De Gula, Jacqueline Aquino, watching also right now. Pa-shoutout po sa asawa ko, Shelly Rose. Ayan. Good morning po to all ABM under Sir Romulo Abigonia. Magandang umaga po. Good morning din po kay Lijana Magsiko from ABM. Pa-shoutout po kay Jeneline Baruga. Good morning sir. Shoutout naman po sa Ina Gamboa of BSHM. 2F. Ayan, pa-shoutout naman po, Jasmine Barbara. Ayan, good morning, good morning sa inyo. 
Have a great day and happy morning everyone. Oh, good morning din sa'yo. Angelini, Saikon. Pa-shoutout po, Emmanuel Cosares. Ayan, from 11 ICT. Tuwang-tuwa na kompleto tayo from elementary or basic education department, senior high school at tertiary. Kaya shoutout din po sa ating magigiting yung masisipag na guro from basic education department, school department, senior high school department at, at syempre ang ating tertiary department teachers. Maraming maraming salamat po. Alam po, excited na excited tayong makita ang ating mga estudyante. Isa sa pinakamalaking katarungan, no? ang laging tinatanong kay Sir Adi, Sir Adi, ano nga ba ang learning modality natin for school year 22-2023? Kaya naman to discuss more about that, makakasama natin ang ating mga academic heads again, Ma'am Ruth Aquino for Basic Education Department, Mr. Jonathan Mendoza for Better Children of St. Clair Montessori Center, Ms. Maria Rebecca Palad, and yours truly for the Senior High School Department, and Ma'am Marja Aquino, for the tertiary department. But for now, tulungan niyo si Sir Adi, okay? I-hashtag na natin. Sabay-sabay tayo. I-type natin sa comment box below. Hashtag BLM or hashtag blended learning modality. Ano nga bang blended learning modality? Maya-maya ay explain natin yan sa inyong lahat. For now, tulungan niyo si Sir Adi na i-hashtag na natin. Tingnan natin kung meron na hashtag BLM, hashtag blended learning modality. Tingnan natin sa ating comment box below. Ayan, may mga shoutout pa rin tayo. Nakakatuwa, napakabilis naman. 3.5 viewers. Good morning sa inyo. No, talaga naman, napakataas ang energy ng ating mga clearance ngayong umaga. Good morning, Cherry Fabian. Pa-shoutout po kay Ma'am Renilda Martinez. Good morning po, pa-shoutout naman po kay Sir Prince Galicia from Wilfredo Galicia. Pa-shoutout po, Angela, Angela Arao. Ayan. Good morning, good morning po. Pa-shoutout po kay Manny Espiritu. Ayan o, oh, hashtag BLM, Al Prince Cruz. Hashtag BLM, Florence Z. Paralyag. Ayan, very good. Hashtag BLM, Hazel Ann Beltran. Hashtag BLM or hashtag blended learning modality. I-hashtag na po yan, i-familiarize nyo na po yan dahil gagamitin po natin yan sa school year na ito. Hashtag BLM, IG Magtibay. Hashtag BLM, Yunisa Bescoro. Aba, very good. You, hashtag Blended Learning Modality, Leana Dulay. Very good. Pa-shoutout naman po, Cherry Fabian. Hashtag BLM, Kaiden Batika. Hashtag BLM, Marjorie De La Cruz. Okay, very good. Nakakatawa na talaga namang na napaka-participative ng ating mga Clarians. Again, Enrollment is still ongoing, mga anak. All you have to do is to go to sinclaironline.com slash IMS. At para naman po sa mga naka-enroll na at they would like to check their section, schedule, advisors, calendar of activities, lahat po yan ay nandyan sa sinclaironline.com slash LMS. O kung medyo marami pa tayong katanungan about your departments no, na hindi pa natin nakita sa LMS, pwede tayo makipag-ugnayan. No? We can actually coordinate with the following Uh, academic heads po natin or school officials. For basic education department, you can message Ms. Ruth S. Aquino or Mr. Joseph Solomon and Mr. Jonathan Mendoza. Again, para po yan sa ating elementary, junior high school students. For senior high school, you can message Ms. Maria Rebecca Palad or your truly Sir Adi Roque. Para man po sa ating tertiary department, kung ikaw ay BSBA or BS Tourism, you can uh, inquire with Ms. Renilda Martinez. Kung ikaw naman ay eduk student or education student, you can coordinate with Ms. Teresita or Tess Solidum. Kung ikaw naman ay under BSHM or AB Polsai, credit or political science, we can coordinate with Sir Chami Ortega. Kung ikaw ay BSCS or computer science, you can coordinate with Ma'am Joy Naturalist. Ayan, no? So, kung meron pa kayo mga katanungan, no? you can message the following school officials para kayo ay tulungan. Alright? Again, no? Bukod po sa ating online enrollment, pwede kayo mag-enroll dito, walk in, no? Face-to-face, -face, punta lang po tayo dito sa St. Clair College. We are open from Mondays to Saturdays, 8am to 5pm. Okay? Punta lang po tayo sa lobby at nandiyan po ang ating enrollment staff to assist us. Alright? Again, I would like to repeat mo, no? Para po sa enrollment, sinclaironline.com slash IMS, letter I, 
no? para naman po sa inyong mga section or other information inquiries, LMS naman po, sinkeronline.com slash LMS. Tuloy-tuloy lang po natin ang hashtag BLM para ma-shoutout po natin ang ating mga studyante or hashtag blended learning modality. Genuel Palomo, ayan, good morning. Blended learning modality, Alison Del Rosario. O blended modality, o dapat kumpleto, ha? familiarize na natin sa ang ating mga sarili. BLM, blended learning modality, ayan, very good. Luis Jasmine Milan. Okay, Rose in Abara, BLM, BSBA, ayan, no? tinag na yung kanyang course. BLM din po ako, Kim Pabatang Rodriguez. Good morning, good morning sa inyong lahat. Kung kanina po ay nakilala natin ang ating masasipag at very dynamic school officials at mayama ay makakasama natin ang ilan sa ating mga academic heads, syempre, ang ating school year ay hindi magiging kumpleto without the official welcome message at syempre ang inspirational message to keep us motivated as we officially welcome this school year. Kaya naman palakpakan po natin ang malapit na malapit ng birthday celebrant, no? Malapit na malapit na po ang President's Birthday. Sabay-sabay po nating i-welcome at palakpakan ang nag-iisang ina ng St. Clair College, the President of the St. Clair Group of Schools, Dr. Clarita G. Adala. Maraming salamat, uh, Mrs. Joy Aquino, for that kind introduction. Magandang umaga sa mga magulang, mga mag-aaral, mga guro, at sa lahat ng mga nanonood at nakikinig sa live stream ng ating webinar. Tatalakayin natin ngayon ang online teaching na tinatawag din virtual teaching. Now, what is virtual teaching? In the Philippines and some parts of the world, we are experiencing a lockdown because of COVID-19. In this pandemic situation, we have to find and discover a way to go to school. Paano ba papasok ang ating mga anak? Maraming nabanggit na modalities sa pag-aaral, si Dr. Samuel Salvador ang ating magiging speaker sa episode 2 sa ating webinar. Because of the pandemic situation in the country, most schools, colleges, and universities settle for virtual education. But what is virtual education? What is virtual learning? And what is virtual teaching? Now, we have to define the word virtual. Ano nga ba ito? Most of the time, we hear virtual hug. Virtual relationship, hindi ba? Now, the word virtual means in a distance. Malayo. For example, virtual relationship. It means having a relationship with someone in the world that physically does not exist but it is made to appear so wow the relationship appears through software now if you think of the word software what word will pass on your mind ano ba ang ating may iisip pag software di isang word lang yan at ito ay ang computer isn't it Therefore, you can try having relationship with someone in the clouds. Paano ba sa ulap, sa ulap ito, magkakaroon ng relationship in the clouds? On the cyberspace, ika nga. Oh, gosh. Kaya kung pwedeng relationship with someone in the clouds, therefore, we can have also relationship with our students through learning in the clouds. Virtual education in learning in a rich space is really very difficult to explain and how we can do it. 
some years ago, we call this distance learning. Kasi meron na itong distance learning ng pang-araw eh. Now, it is also appropriate to call it virtual learning. We use modern technology where learning can take place in a distance. And we call the distance clouds. Kaya yung distance na nga ngayon, clouds ang tawag natin. At ang mga teachers, pwede rin tawagin clouds. Hindi ba? Ngayon, masasabi natin that we are teaching on cyberspace. Now, now yesterday, while uh, I was running through my talk, I decided to have a dry run. Just to see how I look like in the computer. So I asked the director of the theater of St. Clair to guide, to guide me. And uh, when our director gave the clue to start, oh my God, I found out how difficult it was. Imagine you're talking alone without an audience. Oh God. The director cut my talk, telling me my eyes were moving from right to left. <laughs> I told him I'm seeking an audience. I used to talk with an audience. I used to talk in graduation ceremonies. Now, I'm just here talking alone. Paano ba? Can I imagine it? So I have to enhance my imagination, improve my creativity, so that I can imagine that right now, thousands of Students and parents are watching me through Streamline. Amazing, isn't it? Mahirap ang virtual speaker. Just like you're talking alone. But anyway, I did my best and had a lead to my director. So here I am. Mga guro, I will ask you this question. Do you have to write a lesson plan when you teach online? Yan. Iisipin natin. Diba? What do you think? Of course, you have to write your lesson plan. And we call this lesson plan BLT. Ano nga ba itong BLT? Now, B stands for virtual and then the L will be lesson and the P will be plan. So, we call it virtual lesson plan. Now, paano nga ang susulat yan? This is quite different from the normal LP that we used to write. Iba na ngayon kung paano gagawin ang isang lesson plan for virtual learning. Now, we have to consider factors in writing lesson plan. You know that? Now, if you're going to write your lesson plan, it is very necessary to plan the competences. Now, what are these competences? These are your objectives in your subject matter. These are the goals. And you have to think of the three great domains that you are going to consider in writing the lesson plan. The first domain is the cognitive. Now, you know this, the cognitive. And this pertains uh, to the to the knowledge of the content of your lesson, right? And now the second competence that you have to consider will be the affective domain. But I'm thinking of this affective domain. The affective domain pertains to the emotions and feelings of our students. But can we measure? the emotions and feelings of our students in virtual learning. It is an a distance. Paano natin i-measure ngayon ang emotional cause ng mga bata? Hindi natin masyado nakikita ang kanilang mukha, ang kanilang gesture, hindi ba? Kaya, nung nakaraang uh, first episode, our Dean Henry Tinidero mentioned IQ and EQ. Ito yung intellectual quotient at ayun namang EQ ay emotional quotient. 
well in IQ siguro madali nating ilalagyan ng grade o pwedeng i-measure hindi ba at yun yung cognitive now about this affective paano natin i-measure ang affective po kung nasa virtual learning tayo ngayon na mention ngayon ng Dean Henry Pinedero na maaring i-measure itong emotional quotient. And how? Now, where you, when you are on the screen, makikita mo lahat ang mga estudyante mo, di ba? And now, we have the app where you going to enlarge or zoom the aims of your student. Padalakihin mo para makikita mo yung expression. Now, is your student happy? Makikita mo naman kung nakangiti o nakabungis yes. Pag nakita mo nakabungis yes, sigurado kang is happy. Hindi ba? Kaya, eto, magtataka tayo ngayon sa ating virtual learning. Etong kauna-unahin, kakauna-unahin approach na gagamit. Lagi natin isinasama ang feelings ng mga mag-aaral. Hindi natin isinasantabi ang mga emotions ng ating mga mag-aaral. Napaka-importante ito. Kaya sa aking palagay, ay maaring pag-aralan pag mabuti, marahil ang mga expressions ng mga bata, mga gestures ng mga bata. Sa screen, ay masasabi natin ang kanilang emotional cause. Alright. Now, we are now in the new kind of modality. In St. Clair, we have a lot of dry runs already or practice teaching online. Nasasanay din tayo dyan. At ang mga guro ay madali silang maturuan. Napakagaling nila sa technology. Although, this will be our first time to do this kind of modality or teaching approach, we find it interesting and exciting. Of course, there are pros and cons. In St. Clair College, we try to find solutions on some existing problems. The St. Clair, we use the best platform. Meron tayong platforming. And this is exclusive for our school. Pinag-aaralan namin mabuti kung paano namin ihahatin ang pag-aaral ng ating mga anak sa virtual learning na ito. Now, ito, tutunghayan natin, what's the role of the parent in the virtual education? My dear parents, you are playing a big role in the educational growth of your children. You parents are the first teachers and the home is the first school. And the virtual school, which is St. Clair College, is just the second. During this pandemic situation, we are locked down. But we have the opportunity to stay and bond with our families. You will find time to play and learn with your kids in our virtual school. Now, what important role would you play in the world of virtual environment. Ito, very exciting, no? Mga magulang. Here are the five things parents can do to support their children going into virtual learning. Number one, know your child's advisor and other teachers. Napaka-important ito, mga magulang. Dapat kilalanin ninyo ang guro ng inyong mga anak. Paano? Wala nang tayong hindi naman kayo pupunta sa school para magtanong. Kaya nga, we have this what we call virtual. We have this what we call online. Pwede natin tawagan ng ating, ating uh, school, tanungin kung sino ang advisor, sino ang guro ng ating mga anak. Number two, Know your class, child's class schedule. Dapat alamin nyo ang class schedule ng iyong mga anak. Now, ito ay makukuha nyo probably sa messenger, yung advisor, 
will send the class schedule through the messenger. E saan natin ilalagay yung class schedule na ito? Pwedeng ilagay natin sa wall. We can post it on the wall so that there will be an access for the parent and for the students to look at the schedule. Dapat alamin ninyo kailan ba mag-i-start ang klase. Ito ba ay 8 o'clock mag-i-start ng klase ng aking anak? Alas 9 ba? Alas 10 ba? Uh, so you have to be uh, very alert on knowing the schedule of your children. And it should be placed near his computer table. Okay? And now we go to number 3. Uh, ito, napaka-importante. It's very, very necessary. Number three, set up a designated comfortable workspace. Ano ba itong workspace? The right workspace makes a huge difference in your child's mindset and his ability to focus on the lesson. Kaya kung maganda yung kanyang lugar sa pag-aaral, di ba? No matter what the workspace work looks like, kahit anong uri niyan, basta mayroong maganda na labesa, may upuan, hindi ba? Kapag may upuan, at least tignan niyo kung saan ipwepwesto yung upuan. Now, you have to consider also the lighting. Not only the space, ha? you have to consider the lighting. If it is dim, you, know, you have to adjust. The lighting. Probably, you should be near the connectivity of your internet. Diba? Para ito ay maging maliwanag. Maging maliwanag. At uh, ito ay makikita, mas, makikita at uh, you will be satisfied in the learning environment. Virtual learning environment. Kaya napaka-importante uh, sundin ang mga factors na ito. Yan ang number three. Alright. Now, ito pa, kailangan ang mga bata ang access to the materials and supplies. Kailangan din niya ng papel. Kailangan niya ng worksheets. Kailangan niya ng prayer. No? Kailangan din ng pencil and pen. Kaya habang nag-aaral, hindi na pwede tatakbo yung bata. Ay, nakalimutan ko yung pen. Kaya nawawala yung focus ng focus sa camera. Uh, so, ang mga bagulang dapat ilalagay na doon yung mga kailangan ng mga bata. Ng mga lapis. Siguro, kailangan din ilagay ng magulang yung snacks ng bata. You know, during this um, situation, learning situation, nag-aaral ang bata sa cyberspace, mayroon din ihahanda na snacks ng bata. Ano ang snacks? Ayun, mapag-aaralan din natin. Mga nutritious stock snacks na dapat kakainin ng bata during the break time. During the break time, pwede rin nakaharap sa camera at makikita kung paano kumakain ang mga bata. Iyan ay nandun na rin yung good manners and right conduct and how to eat properly. Ganyan. Ngayon ang mga magulang mga guro ay nasasabihin nila kung paano ang pagkain ng tama. Makikita rin nyo sa snacks kung ito ay nutrition. Kaya mga magulang, dapat alamin ninyo, dapat paghahandahan, paghahandahan kung anong snacks ang pwede sa ating mga anak para hindi rin sila magluto. Now, in our cyber space uh, learning, we'll find out and that especially in the preschool, we will have around three hours on the screen. Tatlong oras yan. Kaya, yung mga schedule na yan makikita ninyo, ibibigay ng mga guro, na anong gagawin sa 15 minutes before the virtual learning. May papakita sa inyong lahat kasi magkakaroon tayo ng orientation for the parents on how to conduct a virtual learning sa inyo lang mga magulang. Kaya hihintayin natin ang orientation na ito probably on the first week of August. And um, I don't know if the teachers are planning to put an orientation program 
on August 3 and August 4. Okay. And so, ngayon, um, masasabi ko lang, it is optional ha, kung kayo naman ay may kakayahan na bumili ng headphone, di ba? Nakikilip siya niya si Teacher Bro. Ruth, mayroon siyang headphone, no, no? Ngayon, ang mga bata, gusto rin may headphone, di ba? Now, this is um, motivational. Pero kung optional na talaga hindi natin kaya bumili, now, what tayong bibili? Kung mayroon naman, why not? Diba? Mga bata gusto gusto ng kumorma. Diba? Nakita niyo sa screen yung mga bata na may headphone. Nakita niya, no? Diba? At napakaganda yung tingnan. Now, in this uh, virtual learning, uh, you know, we would like to require our students to wear their uniform. Nakita niyo naman kung paano kadisimple kung naka-uniform sila. Diba? Napakaganda yung tingnan. Napakalinis tingnan. Dahil hindi dahil nasa bahay kayo na pwede na yung, yung nightwear, hindi naman. Pwede na yung shorts, hindi naman. Now, we have to say that we are learning in classroom. Pero hindi ito classroom. We are not into face-to-face -face learning. We are on cyberspace. We are in the clouds. But we, although we are in the clouds, we have to look Presente, magandang itsura. Kasi nakikita nyo rin sa screen. Nakikita ang mga magulang. At ito ay nakakapagdagdag din ng motivation sa inyong pag-aaral. Hindi ba? Alright. Now we go to number four. Number four, get to know the online learning platform. Okay. Ito nga nung una, nakita ko itong platform. It is a uh, technological term pala yan. Akala ko ang platform stage eh. <laughs> Yung pala, ang platform ay isang app ito na gagamitin sa pag-aaral, gagamitin sa meeting. Now, what is online learning platform? Perhaps you have encountered these technical terms like messenger, di ba? Lahat kayo naman may cellphone. Ngayon, gusto niyo makipag-communicate uh, uh, with your classmates, di ba, mga bata, mga mag-aaral. And you would like to have a chat, a video chat, na nakikita ninyo yung kaibigan ninyo, nakikita ninyo yung best friend niyo online. Okay? And that is an app. And we can call that a platform. Teleconferencing, di ba? mga nag-conference, uh, organization, nagkakaroon sila ng Zoom meeting and others. E ngayon, and that is what we call a platform. When a school or organization, group of people would like to have a meeting online, they will use a platform. Therefore, platform is a tool or app, application software, Built for meeting. Virtual learning with intricate learning ecosystem to connect for communication with one another in cyberspace. You know, uh, marami, there are a lot of uh, platforms to choose from. Uh, that are, well, there are platforms that are for free. Diba, libre yun? Mga magulang, mga teachers, Kung minsan, mag-zoom meeting tayo, okay, libre. But in St. Clair College, we have one good platform which is just exclusive for use for our school. We use the FIFNET or the FNET. It is very necessary for the parents to know how to operate this app so that you can monitor your child's progress. Anyway, St. Clair College will give parents orientation on how to use and manipulate platform. Uh, probably, as I said, I said earlier, that we have an orientation again for the parents. 
okay, for all of these uh, technical terms, you know, on how to operate a computer, how to operate an app, something like that, and the subset, it will be probably on the first week of August. And now, we go to number five. Get in touch through online privately with the teachers of your child. Alright, now, uh, naka nakalimutan ko sandali yung uh, isang uh, ipapakita ko sa inyo na pwedeng uh, magamit sa platform na ito. Ito ay isang storytelling na pwedeng gamitin sa grade 3 or grade 4 or in the lower level. O kahit naman sa tertiary pwede rin gamitin. Okay, tignan natin yung screen. Ayan si Ayen. Tignan nga natin kung anong itsura si Ayen. Alright, si Ayen. Okay. Now, ganito ang mangyayari. Magagamit natin yan to enhance our teaching on virtual. Nakikita ninyo na hindi lang sa classroom magkakaroon ng uh, storytelling. Magkakaroon din ng storytelling sa virtual learning. At napakaganda ito. Siyempre, ang sign-clear kasi uh, matagal na tayo nagsimula ng e-learning. You remember, we started in learning 2013, 2015, I think. We have our e-boards, di ba? Ngayon, kaya napakadali natin gamitin ang mga enhancement, ang mga storytelling na ganyan na magiging motivation sa ating mga anak or virtual learning. Okay, punta na tayo sa number five. Get in touch through online practically with teachers of your children. Okay? Alright. Just because students are learning online doesn't mean they are learning independently. Hindi pa makagiging independent ang mga anak natin, especially in the lower grades and probably also in the high school, no? Well, ang grade 11, grade 12, well, siguro magiging independent sila through this kasi marami na sila may experience yet. But yung mga batang maliliit, we need the guidance of the parents. We need the guidance of mommy the daddy. Sasabihin ngayon ng mommy, e eh, paano nagtatrabaho ako? Eh kung nagtatrabaho si daddy, Eh kung wala si daddy rin at nagtartarbaho silang dalawa, ano kayong mangyayari? Kaya ngayon, I suggest that even the nannies, yung ating mga yaya, ba? ating kasambahay, di ba? Ah, mga kapatid, mga auntie, mga uncle, pwede ngayon magkakaroon ng orientation on about how to manipulate a computer. Magkakaroon ngayon ng uh, webinar na naman for these people for the parents including the nannies including the yayas and probably including the including the uh, kasambahay ngayon napakaganda nga itong e-learning na ito eh although absolutely there is a critical role in e-learning. We cannot maintain open uh, communication kung sometimes uh, wala tayong log. <laughs> Minsan wala tayong log. Kaya kailan magkakaroon ng log so that there will be open frequent uh, communication with our teachers. Now, ang mga teachers natin ngayon, ang uh, tatanungin ng ating mga gula, paano naman natin malalaman ang evaluation? Paano naman namin nalalaman that our children are progressing in virtual teaching. O nga naman, ang mga guro, alam niyo mga magulang, mayroon ding inihanda na halimbawa isang bata ay 100 ang kanyang score sa kanyang worksheet during the virtual learning. Magpapakita ito na star. Ayan. Nakita niyo sa screen yung star? Okay. Ngayon, kung ang bata naman ay napakaganda ang kanyang ugali sa virtual environment, very courteous, magpapakita siguro 
ng guru, ng angel, saying that the child is courteous. You see? Marami rin yung magagawa. Now, halimbawa yung bata na tamad, hindi niya sinulat ang kanyang assignment. Siguro, ang guru ay magpapakita ng monkey. <laughs> Kasi yung monkey, hindi ba denotes sa laziness? Alright. Kung ito naman ay, ay uh, very truthful, yeah, very truthful, nagpapakita siya ng uh, bulaklak na ibibigay sa guru, but it is only in the clouds or it is only in virtual. Kaya magpapakita ngayon, magplaplas on the screen ang bulaklak ng maganda. Okay. Uh, so, napakaganda online. Very exciting. Eh? And, you know, I'm also excited. This is also my first time. I have not experienced teaching in uh, distance learning. And so, I, I find it exciting. Now, while I'm studying it, you know, every time, every day, before I go to sleep, I have to study this virtual learning because I think it is very necessary that uh, this will be an expert for me. You know, they have to ask, Paano ba ito? Paano yan? No, you know, hindi nga na akong marunong ito masyado sa mga technical terms na ito. But I am trying to learn. Hindi rin ako marunong sa mga apps na yan. But I am trying to learn. Sabi nila, oh, senior citizen na si Dr. Adalet. Pero marunong pa rin ako sa mga apps na yan. Marunong pa rin ako gumamit ng computer. Marunong pa rin ako gumamit ng cellphone. Because it is very necessary. It is now a trend. Now we don't want to lock down. We have to go forward, hindi ba? Now we have to go forward. Think of this uh, virtual learning that we have. So, mga magulang, tayo ay magiging very patient. There is a virtue which we call patient. Kailangan maging pasensya tayo for the meantime. We'll find out that we can go through it. Lahat ito ay magiging successful with your guidance. Okay. Now, my dear parents, you are indeed the inspiration of your children. What's over them? Help them grow. To achieve their goals and reach for their dreams. Now, mga magulang, kayo ang inspirasyon ng mga bata. So, I appeal that you have to guide your children. At para maating natin lahat ng goals sa ating virtual environment. I would like to end my talk with a quote that I wrote. A balance of virtual education at home and school mold a child's actual learning to become Perfect. Your story, Dr. Smith Adalen. Maraming salamat sa mga magulang, sa mga nanonood, sa mga guru, at sa mga mag-aaral. God bless you! Again, a big thank you and a round of applause to our one and only president, the president of the Sinclair Group of Schools, Dr. Clarita G. Adala. Ang palakpakan po natin. Maraming maraming salamat po for your continuous guidance. But, uh, officially welcoming po ang ating mga estudyante sa ating opening ng 2022-2023 school year. Again, maraming maraming salamat po. And again, advance happy birthday. Malapit na malapit na again ang ating president's birthday kaya tutukan natin yang lahat 
Alright, at this point in time, I would like to shout out again yung ating mga sudyante na talaga namang hindi bumibitaw sa ating St. Clair Online YouTube channel. Ayan o, no? good morning, good morning po to Sherry Lexitivo. Hello po, Sir Adi, and hello din kay Kenshin Villasor, Cassandra, ay Quadra, sorry. We also have Just for Laxina, miss na miss niya na daw yung girlfriend niya. Ayan, pa-shoutout naman po, birthday ko ngayon. Happy birthday to Jimel Calma of BSHM 2C. Ayan, no? hashtag BLM, hashtag learn, uh, Blender Learning Modality, sabi ni Rachel Ann Sherbo. Ayan, no? hashtag BLM. Aba, mukhang gustong-gusto na ng ating mga studyante ang blended learning modality. Sabi ni Raven Artuge. Ayan na, napakabilis, nakakatuwa, napakaraming comments. Keep it coming. Keep your greetings and shoutouts on the comment box below para mabasa natin at ma-read ni Sir Adi live na live. Shoutout din po to Miss Hart from Yana Morales. Adri uh, Adrian Set Catedrilia. Asan? Hashtag BLM. Jerome Patalbo, ayan, balik ka na daw, sana daw bumabalik lahat. Ayan, may hugo si Jerome, good morning. Fatima Salik, good morning sa'yo. Good morning, BSCS1A. Daniel Rapada, ayan. Good morning din kay J. Adrian Padual from 11.4. Pa-shoutout din naman po, Ashley May Layog. Ayan, nakakatawa, no? Comment nila para mabasa ni Sir Ari kasi talaga na-miss natin ang ating mga kasama at ating mga classmates dito sa Good Morning Class. Good morning and shoutout po sa asawa ko. O ayan, sabi ni Nick Dexter Navara. O shoutout din po no, sa ating mga kasama dito ngayon. Shoutout po to Ma'am Mildred, Ma'am Jana, no, Ma'am Rose, and Ma'am Febby, and also to Ma'am Angge. Shoutout po sa inyo na nanonood ngayon sa ating Good Morning Class episode. Ayan. Maya maya ibabalikan ni Sir Adi ang inyo mga pa-shoutout dahil at this point in time, gaya ng sabi ko kanina, Punong-puno po ng surpresa ang araw na ito. Kaya naman hawak na ni Sir Adi, ayan. Nakikita ba natin, hawak na ni Sir Adi ang ating mga raffle prizes, ang ating mga Starbucks gift certificates, ayan. Okay, we have 10 Starbucks gift certif uh, certificates na mapapadalunan ng ating napakaswerteng estudyante na talaga naman nakatutok ngayong araw sa ating Good Morning Class episodes. Again, we will choose 10 winners of Starbucks gift certificates worth 200 pesos each. So, hindi lang ikaw, pwede mo pang isama ang iyong mama, iyong papa, o iyong kaibigan. Pwede mo siyang i-date or i-treat bago ang ating blended classes, no? Sa Starbucks. Again, tumutok lamang po dito sa atin, sa ating uh, Good Morning uh, Class episode for today. At maya-maya lamang ay may mga katanungan tayo, no? I-explain ni Sir Adi, ang mechanics maya-maya lamang kung paano po, no? kung paano po kayo mananalo ng ating Starbucks gift certificates kaya walang bibitaw mga classmates dyan sa ating Sinker Online YouTube channel. Ayan. Kanina, no? maraming salamat. Tidulungan niyo si Sir Adi sa ating pagpapalawak o pagpapalaganap ng hashtag blended learning modality or hashtag BLM. Sabi nga natin, no? ano nga po ba ang blended learning modality? At siyempre, to officially welcome also our college students. Sabay-sabay na po nating palakpakan. Siyempre, kung maina ang St. Clair College, meron din silang ina sa tertiary department. Palakpakan po natin ang nag-iisang Ms. Mary Joy S. Aquino.
our dear students, parents, guardians, and teachers, good morning. It's been more than two years since the pandemic caught the academic industry and has brought changes in the educational landscape. COVID-19 has affected learning in a global scale, actually not only in education but in all sectors. The acquisition of knowledge and skills happened in a virtual environment. Teachers and students didn't have much choice but to adopt technology. Students studied from home. Several of them became bored just being at home and longed for the company of their classmates and friends. Kaya itong enrollment, nung nagpuntahan ng mga estudyante, tropa-tropa. Barka barkada, because this is the chance of them to bond again. Nagbanding sila, kumustahan, and sure, after their enrollment, nagimik ang mga yon. And so, we welcome a new academic year. The Commission on Higher Education has been lenient and allowed flexibility for higher educational institutions in the modality of delivering instruction. St. Clair College opted to move forward, keeping in tune with the trust of delivering quality education. Classes will remain online in the tertiary or the college level until such time that students will be allowed to attend face-to-face -face classes in limited courses or subjects, specifically those with laboratory or those activities which will require physical presence like in seminars for the professional development program. St. Clair is the school of life skills for life success, and this makes us different from other educational institutions. Parents and guardians, we are asking you to help the teachers in encouraging your children to continue and finish their studies. Please motivate them, inspire them, assist them, ask questions about what's happening inside their class, monitor their performance. Students, you are fortunate with the blessings of a voucher for senior high school. And for the tertiary or the college level, we have the UNIFAS. Soon, the basic education will have its own version of blessings. So, sa matatanggap ninyong biyaya, pagbutihin ninyo ang inyong pag-aaral at hangad namin na makapagtapos kayo. Teachers, instructors, professors, always give an excellent performance in imparting knowledge, skills, and experiences to your students. Teach with passion. Share what you know. Inspire the young minds. Make teaching and learning always an enjoyable experience. To our continuing students, it is nice to have you back. And to our new students, our freshmen and transferees, welcome to St. Clair College. It is not a mistake that you have chosen this school to be your second home. Here in St. Clair, we are a family. Thank you for listening. Have a good day and God bless us all.
Again, sabay-sabay po natin palakpakan ang ating tertiary assistant din, Ma'am Mary Joy S. Aquino. Maraming maraming salamat po for informing and welcoming our college students as we officially welcome the school year 22-23. Ayan. O kanina nabanggit ni Sir Adi no, sa ating mga students na talaga namang nakatutok pa rin sa ating Sinclair Online YouTube channel ay meron tayong 10, no? Sampung Starbucks gift certificates were 200 each kung saan mamay ay mamimili tayo ng sampung winners. At, gaya ng sabi ni Sir Adi, no? Punong-puno ng surpresa ang araw na ito dahil hindi po dyan nagtatapos ang pasabog nating surpresa ngayong araw. Dahil aside from our Starbucks gift certificates para sa ating mga lucky students, mamimigay po ang ang Sinker Online Class, good morning class, episode for today ng brand new cellphone po na Vivo Y1S. Ayan o, maya-maya lamang po ay pamimigay natin ito sa ating lucky student for today. O day 1 pala ng ating startup module, talaga namang punong-puno po tayo ng surprise at punong-puno po tayo ng pasabog. Dito lang yan sa St. Clair College Online Education System. Ayan, di ba? Kaya naman yung ating mga sadyante nakatuto, kita ba? Okay, kitang-kita again ha. Ang gagawin lang po natin, oh, makinig mabuti. Makinig po tayo sa mga inspirational messages at ang mga explanation at mga mensahe po ng ating mga guests for today, ang ating surprise guests for today. At maya-maya ay mamimili tayo ng isang question kung saan sasagutin niyo yun. At mamaya, ibibigay ko yun ang, ang number kung saan kayo magte-text ng tamang sagot. Kaya make sure na kayo ay manonood from start to finish, no? Para malaman natin ang kasagutan sa ating big question of the day. Again, kung saan pwede kayo manalo ng brand new cellphone. No? Ayan, pwedeng-pwede yan sa inyong klase, sa online classes natin. No? So again, ayan, kitang-kita po natin na sa brand new phone. Mamimili tayo, kaya makinig mabuti lahat ng ating estudyante. Together with our Starbucks gift certificates. O, hindi ko na makawakan lahat sa dami. Ayan, napakarami nating prizes for today. Kaya tutok lang, no? So, kung meron pa po tayo mga classmates, meron pa kayo dyan uh, mga kapamilya, kabarikada, kahit sama, sama mo na mama at papa niyo ang buong, buong pamilya, again po, mag-subscribe na tayo and hit the click button po dito sa ating YouTube channel. So, i-shoutout po natin yung iba pa nating mga kasama dito nakatutok pa rin sa ating episode from um, Tourism Department daw, Carlos Bunagan, good morning. Ayan, kasama rin natin si Yuno Cellphone. Sabi ni Wesley Iron Munar. So, good morning din po kay Isabel Ores Martires. Kasama rin natin si Ana Novela Panaga. Okay, kasama din natin si Angel Saikon. Good morning sa'yo. We also have oh, Vivo QT. Ayan, no? Again, na tumutok lang tayo para malano tayo ng brand new cellphone. O, Starbucks QT. O, meron din tayo niyan. O, di ba lahat na sabihin nyo, meron tayo. Alright, no? ang ating mga minor price. Wow! Oh, di ba? Punong-puno nga tayo ng surpresa ngayon araw dahil, oh, just in, aside from our 10 Starbucks gift certificates and a brand new cellphone, mamimigay din tayo ng 5,000 pesos cash. Alright, 5,000 pesos cash po para sa ating mga estudyante. Grabe, parami na po ng parami ang ating mga prices. Habang dumadami po, no? habang dumadami po ang ating mga viewers, O, oh, ba pati yung mga nandito talaga nasasabik na, di ba? Habang dumadami ang ating viewers, dumadami rin ang ating prices. Kaya kung ako sa inyo, tawagin nyo na lahat ng classmates nyo para mas marami pa tayong prices for today. Ayan, we have Starbucks gift certificates. Ayan, 10 Starbucks gift certificates worth 200 each. Okay, so wag bibitaw, we have a brand new cell phone and 5,000 pesos cash. O, di ba? Basahin natin yung reaction ng ating mga sadyante. Ayan, good morning po. Yun, pang Roblox daw. Ayan, good morning, good morning sa'yo. Ayan, good morning po, Sir Adi. Pa-shoutout naman po from Draven Clothings. 5K QT. Ayan, ha, ha, ha. 5K akin na yan. O ba? Sabi ni Tintin Katahay. Hello, good morning sa'yo, Tintin. John, para sa akin yung 5K. Ayan, kung gusto nyo po ng ating mga prices, huwag pong bibitiw sa ating Startup Module episode for today. From start to finish, makinig mabuti sa ating mga speakers para masagot ng tama ang ating katanungan. Alright, at this point in time from Tertiary Department, let's move naman po to our Basic Education Department. 
to give us a welcome message and to explain further about the blended learning modality for the basic education department. Ang nagbabalik ka pamilya, palakbakan po natin ang nag-iisang Ms. Ruth S. Aquino. Board of Trustees, faculty, parents, and students of the St. Clair Group of Schools, we cordially welcome you to the first day of the academic year 2022-2023. As the new head of the St. Clair College Basic Education Department, I would like to thank my predecessor, now the manager of the Registrar's Office, Ma'am Cristina Bergado for nurturing the department for two decades. To the Board of Trustees, especially to the highly esteemed president of the St. Clair Group of Schools, my professor and mentor, Dr. Clarita G. Adalem, being appointed as head by a seasoned educator like you is such a humbling experience. The COVID-19 pandemic was a catalyst for countless undesirable changes and circumstances across the globe. Nevertheless, it cannot be denied that it brought purposeful changes to the current educational landscape. Distance learning was met with skepticism and resistance at first. It took a pandemic for the Philippines and other nations to embrace this modality because it was non-negotiable. Face-to-face learning was not possible, so schools had to shift from traditional to new learning modalities. Eventually, academicians realized that with a commendable ICT infrastructure, an effective teaching learning process is attainable. This school year, we are about to unlock a door that will lead us to endless possibilities. The future is filled with uncertainties. Nonetheless, we are certain of our dedication to fulfill our mission. We are determined to strive towards the realization of our vision, and we will hold fast to our institutional philosophy to offer educational services that will develop our learners holistically. As a school of life skills, we want our learners to realize their full potentials by shaping them into individuals imbued with positive values and determination to excel not only in academics but also in life. It is a tremendous feat to sustain 
learning beyond the classroom walls, but lifelong learning is worth striving for. All these things will not materialize without our teachers because educators serve as pillars of a learning institution. I affirm that the teachers of St. Clair College are well equipped with knowledge and 21st century skills that will aid them in the delivery of quality instruction to the learners. Apart from these, they are also agents of transformative education. As always mentioned by Dean Henry Tenedero, education and the educators themselves must be high-tech and high-touch. In our department, it is not just the teachers who play such a vital role in the scholastic achievements and life success of the learners. Family school partnership is also indispensable. To the loving and caring parents of our students in the basic education department, we sincerely thank you for believing in us. Your support to your children and to the institution is considerably significant. Hence, we earnestly ask you to join us in this noble mission. All the challenges that lie before us may seem insurmountable, but with shared responsibility and commitment geared towards our learners' welfare, together we can reach greater heights. Allow me to take this opportunity to discuss a few matters concerning our department. Starting September 5, 2022, we will be implementing blended learning modality in conformity to DepEd Order Number 34 Series of 2022. Simply put, both distance and face-to-face -face learning will be conducted. Specifically, the students will have their face-to-face -face classes on selected subjects once a week, and online classes will be conducted four times a week. Please take note that adjustments may apply as demanded by the situation. The details of the class schedule will be sent by your respective class advisors. The activities that will transpire this week are the following. Start of module and meet and greet with the advisors. Parents orientation is also set sometime this week. Next week, our activities are the observance of the National Heroes Day and Pagunita sa Buwan ng Wika and President's Day. Moreover, the class links will be sent to the students next Thursday or earlier. The dates and time of the aforementioned activities will be announced soon, so make sure to check our LMS, Facebook page, and group chats for updates. Please note that all other concerns will be discussed during the parents' orientation intended solely for the basic education department. The class advisors will send you a link through which you can send your queries so that we can address them during the program. Whether you are an administrator, an educator, a parent, or a student, I pray that each of us will uphold our ideals and fervent desire to fulfill our purpose. May the divine providence lead us every step of the way as we strive to make a difference. Once again, good morning and welcome to school year 2022-2023.
Uh, once again, thank you so much ang nagbabalik ka pamilya natin dito sa Sinclair College, Ms. Ruth S. Aquino. Palakpakan po ulit natin si Ma'am. Sabi nga na isang sadyante natin kanina, habang nag, uh, uh, nag-talk si Ma'am Ruth, no? ang ganda pa rin ni Ma'am Ruth, sabi ni Ms. Cherry Fabian. Ayan, talaga naman. No? O yan, oh, good morning din sa'yo, Maribel, sa Rawas. Ayan, mga pabati pa natin mga students. Kasama rin natin dyan si Mary Jane Libores. Pa-shoutout po. To Ma'am Kotsaro, ayan, no? kasama natin, interpreting for our students. Oh, in line with that, I would like to greet from BSES 1C, Raven Helioma, Shane Gulay, uh, Isaias Cruz, Arian Camo, Ariel Camo, Sindrel de los Avila, Missy Garland, Ross Ibariento. So, syempre, nandiyan din si Azien Velia Rosa. Ayan, mga kasama nyo po araw-araw si Ma'am Kutsaro for the interpreting. Again, palakpakan po naman natin, no? Mamarites Kutsaro, nakasama po natin ngayong araw. Ayan. Narinig na po natin ang welcome address ng ating uh, ina ng uh, tertiary department, Ma'am Mary Joy Aquino. Nandiyan na rin po si Ma'am Ruth Aquino. Siyempre, hindi magpapahuli ang Better Children of Sinclair Montessori Center. Kaya naman, let's all welcome and give a round of applause sa nag-iisang Mr. Jonathan Mendoza. Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat, sa mga magulang, mga mag-aaral, at higit sa lahat sa pamunuan ng St. Clair College of Caloacan and Better Children of St. Clair Montessori Center. Sa pagbubukas ng taon ng pangpaaralan 2022 hanggang 2023, handang-handa na ang ating paaralan at mga guro upang makapagbigay ng kwalidad at ligtas na edukasyon para sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng blended learning modality. At good news po para sa mga mag-aaral ng Better Children of St. Clair Montessori Center, ang ating pong paaralan ay kasalukuyang ongoing ang renovation, binibigyan ng bagong muka, binibihisan at pinapaganda. At dahil ito, kay Dr. Clarita Adalem, ang presidente ng St. Clair College of Caloocan, pa upang bigyang handa o pagaghandaan ang full face-to-face -face pagdating ng Nobyembre. Muli, maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagtangkilik sa St. Clair, your school for life skill, for life success. Magandang umaga po muli at welcome for the school year 2022-2023.
Again, from Better Children of Sinclair Montessori Center, maraming salamat po to Sir Jonathan S. Mendoza. Ayan, now from Tertiary Department to Basic Education Department, syempre, last but not the least, hindi po magpapahuli ang Senior High School Department. But unfortunately, due to a very important commitment for today, hindi po natin makakasama live ang ating mahal na principal, Ma'am Maria Rebecca Palad. Pero, nag-iwan siya ng napakagandang mensahe para sa ating mga Senior High School Students, no? Kaya basahin po natin, no? To the President of St. Clair College, Dr. Clarita G. Adalem. To Vice Presidents, Dr. Ernesto Ray Adalem and Ernesto J. Adalem. To the Board of Trustees, Faculty, Parents, especially the students, good morning. After two years of pure online classes, we are now blessed to have the blended learning, which is used worldwide to enhance the 21st century skills of our dear students. Sabi nga natin, Blended modality is the combination kung saan may online classes, meron ka face-to-face -face classes. This is very relevant especially in our situation today. Online classes will enhance or will make us adept in the use of information and communications technology to mold our information literacy. At syempre, face-to-face -face classes naman po will help us mold and enhance our practical skills, especially our life skills. Magkasama po ang online at magkasama rin ang blended para sa holistic development ng ating mga estudyante. Isa rin po sa kagandahan ng ating online classes is the students have their own time to learn. They can learn anytime, anywhere, anyhow. At para naman po sa ating face-to-face, -face, it is a time for us to conduct our group activities, practical activities to enhance and instill camaraderie and teamwork. Gaya po ng sabi ni Dean Henry Tinedero, High-tech na, high-touch pa. Meron ka ng face-to-face, -face, meron ka pang online, di ba? Again, this is just a very short message. Thank you so much to our dear parents and students of the Senior High School Department. I am looking forward to meet everyone. Welcome to St. Clair College, Soar High, Senior High. Again, that is from our um, principal from the Senior High School Department, Ma'am Rebecca Palad, Okay. Kaya naman, I would like to take this opportunity as well to invite our senior high school students for tomorrow. Makakasama natin ang ating mahal na principal sa ating senior high school forum. That's 1 p.m. via Zoom. No, Alam ko, meron tayo marami, uh, marami tayo mga questions or concerns or inquiries and that is the perfect time to raise those concerns kasama natin. Si Ma'am Palad tomorrow, again, that's gonna be via Zoom. Yung link po ay available yan sa ating senior high school corner sa sinkeronline.com slash LMS. So the schedule will be grade 11, will be at 1 to 3 p.m. Then 3 to 5 p.m. will be for grade 12. Again, yung mga link po ay matatagpuan natin sa LMS Sinclair Online um, uh, Learning Management System. Ayan. Kumpleto na po from tertiary, senior high, at basic education department. Kaya naman po, paalala lang natin sa ating mga students, huwag tayong bibitaw dahil again, we have at stake 10 Starbucks gift certificates, no? Worth 200 pesos each. Pwedeng-pwede mo nang isamang iyong kaibigan, no? Bago tayo mag-opening ng uh, classes, pwedeng-pwede ka nang mag-treat sa iyong mama, sa iyong kaibigan, sa iyong tropa pag ikaw ay isa sa nanalo ng ating Starbucks gift certificates. Aside from that, mamimigay tayo ng 5,000 pesos cash. O, di ba? Dito lang yan sa St. Clair College. At for our grand prize is the brand new cellphone po para yan sa inyong lahat. We have Starbucks gift certificates, we have cash prizes, we have a brand new cellphone. Ano po ba nga hanapin? Kaya huwag po tayong bibitaw sa lahat pa po ng ating mga bisita ngayong araw. Tuloy-tuloy po ang shoutout natin. Maraming maraming salamat po sa 2.7 na talaga man nakatutok pa rin sa atin simula kaninang 9 a.m. Kaya naman pasalamatan natin sila at i-shoutout po natin si Jed Sky Di Pedro from BSBA 2D. Kasama rin natin si Rest Bugarin of 5KQT Dao. Kasama rin natin si Wilfred Galicia, talaga ng mga nakatutok kanina pa, no? Christine Aguilar, John Kenneth Tierra, Jeric James Caballejo, Sheila Esban, kasama rin natin si Cristela Paruwayan. Ayan, sige, tinan natin yung mga pa-shoutouts natin, no? Keep commenting it sa ating comment box below para mabasa natin live na live. O, cellphone cutie, sabi ni Glenn Mark Estoque. Good morning po, pa-shoutout naman po kay Jinky F. Darona. Yan ay galing kay Charlene. 
the Sabornay. Okay. Kasama rin natin sa ating uh, good morning class for today. Sing care lang sa kalam, sabi ni Kit Abenyo. Ayan, very good. No? Pa-shoutout naman po on Laner Rivera. Kasama rin natin Casey Suleman. Good morning. At Shaira May Salvador. Okay. So, maya-maya lamang po ay babasahin pa ulit natin ang mga pabate ng ating mga clearians. Kaya naman, again, huwag po tayong bibitaw hanggang matapos po ang episode natin today. Dahil maya-maya po ay magtatanong na si Sir Adi ng ating mga questions kung saan ibibigay. Ito po ay manggagaling, no? Manggagaling po sa ating mga speakers. Ang surprise guest po natin for today. At pag alam niyo yung tamang sagot, iti-text niyo lamang po dating gawin, no? At mamimili tayo ng winners again ng Starbucks gift certificates. Meron din tayong 5,000 cash at ang ating brand new cellphone. Okay? Pwedeng-pwede nyo i-claim agad-agad dito sa ating school. Kanina ay nakilala po natin no? at uh, na-welcome na po tayo ng ating mga academic kids from each department. Sabi nga natin, ngayon na tayo ay hashtag blended learning modality or hashtag BLM. Kailangan makasiguro ng ating mahal na paaralan sa siguridad no? ng ating kalusugan, lalo na ng ating mahal na mga mag-aaral. Kaya naman, ano nga po ba ang iba't ibang preparations ng St. Clair College Community para sa nalalapit nating blended learning modality? Tawagin na po natin ang ating Community Engagement Director, no other than Attorney Petronilio Alarcon. Permission po ah, to remove the face mask. Sabi nga nila, face reveal. Magandang, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, mga magulang at mga estudyante. Mula po sa preschool hanggang basic education, senior high school at college. Alam niyo po, napaka-blessed po ninyo ngayong umagang to sapagkat andito po kami para magbigay ng assurance lalong lalo na sa mga magulang na hindi po kayo nagkamali pagpili sa St. Clair College bilang panibagong tahanan ng inyong mga anak. Una sa lahat, nakita nyo po kanina sabi ko, face reveal dito po sa St. Clair College lahat po kami ay naka-face mask mula po sa gwardya hanggang sa bawat na classroom hanggang sa ating mga utility There's more. Lahat po kami rito ay meron na pong vaccine card, first shot, second shot, at meron na po kaming booster shot. Bakit po? Sapagkat ang eskwelahang to ay kaagapay ng ating butihing mayor, Mayor Along Malapitan at Congressman Oka Malapitan para bigyan ng isang safe na environment ang ating paaralan. Siyempre po, hindi po namin nakakalimutan ang pakikipag-ugnayan ng ating mabutihing konsyal, Topet Adalem, upang maging maayos, kaaya-aya ang kapaligiran ng St. Clair College. Umpisaan po natin. Pag nandito po kayo sa St. Clair, pagpasok pa lang, meron po tayong temperature check. Ay, sandali po. Bakit po sandali? Baka nakita nyo, meron tayong props. Sabi nga ng aming director, si Ma'am Joy Naturales, nakalimutan mo yung props mo. Ito po yan. Nakita niya po yung aming first aid kit na ito po ay palaging nakahanda 
24-7, Monday to Saturday, nandun po sa ating klinik upang magbigay agarang lunas sa ating mga mag-aaral. At kasama na rin po ang ating mga teachers and non-teaching personnel. There's more. Meron po kayo nakikita sa aking tabi na megaphone kung saan ito po ay ginagamit natin pagdating sa mga emergency. Ano pong emergency? Kailan lang? Two weeks ago lang. Kailan lang? Nagkaroon po tayo, ano Ma'am Joy, ng 6.2 earthquake kung saan ang istruktura po ng St. Clair College ay hindi po naapektuhan. Bakit? Sapagkat kailan lang po binisita po kami ni Engineer Baroga, binisita po kami ni Engineer Reyes ng City Building Official ng Caloacan City at nakita po ang ating paralan kung gano po to katibay. So nakita nyo. At There's more sa bawat kwarto po natin ay may makikita po kaming ganito. Pagpasok pa lang po ng ating paralan, meron po tayong machine na magbibig, magchecheck at may alkohol. Ganon po kami tahanda lalo po sa protocol at sa COVID pandemic. So balikan po, una po temperature check, pangla po mandatory wearing of face masks inside the premises of St. Clair College and better children of St. Clair Montessori. Pangatlo, meron po kaming pagtalima at pagsunod sa tinatawag nating social distancing na kung maaari po ay ang mass gathering shall be limited. Next, dito po sa atin, sa paaralan natin, meron tayong Uh, ang learners natin. Sino po ang tinatawag na learners? Kayo po na nanonood sa akin. Yung preschool, yung basic, yung senior high, at yung college. Kayo po yung learners na pag nandito po kayo sa loob ng ating paaralan, meron po kayong specific na assigned room only. Ibig sabihin, ang ating mga learners ay merong dapat na pasukan at labasan entry and entrance inside our school premises. Ano pa po? Meron din po tayong specific na entrance and exit route. Alam niyo po, mga magulang, nung kami po ay binisita ng City Hall, namangha po sila sapagkat sa bawat sulok, meron po silang nakitang exit. Ibig sabihin, In times of earthquake, in times of fire, dito po sa ating paaralan ay meron po talagang lulugaran ang ating mga learners. Therefore, ina-assure po namin ang safety at security ng inyong mga anak na ipinagkatiwala niyo po na dito mag-aral sa amin. Ano pa po yun? Meron din po tayong specific waiting area sa kaalaman po ng Karamihan na kung magkakaroon man po at sana wag naman po ng earthquake ang pinaka waiting area po o evacuation area po namin ay dito po sa may harapan ng St. Clair hadyan po sa lugar ng Mormons. Ibig sabihin, pagbaba ng mga bata, paglabas ng paaralan, dun po sila lahat magkita-kita. Lahat po ng ating kwarto ay merong fire extinguisher. Lahat po ng ating kwarto ay nilalagyan po natin ng alcohol just to assure the safety of our learners, our teachers, our non-teaching personnel. By the way, pagdaling, pagdating po sa alarm ng earthquake, continuous long whistle blow. O kaya naman po, patutunogin natin ang ating megaphone Ibig sabihin, meron pong emergency. At pag meron nang po tayong alarm in case of fire, continuous short whistle blow. Gagamitin din po natin ang ating megaphone para lalo pong marinig ng ating mga learners at ating mga teachers at mga non-teaching personnel kung saan po sila pupunta. Pahabol lang, Ma'am Joy, dun sa ating phase one, drop, 
over and hold. Ano po yan? Pagpanahon ng earthquake. Ano po ang ating decide result? Correct timing? During earthquake? Correct way to drop? Over and hold. Phase 2. Evacuation of classroom. Okay? Correct timing and correct way to leave the room and evacuate. Phase 3. Evacuate the school and proceed to the safe haven area. Correct timing and correct way to evacuate. And finally, combination of phase 1 to phase 3. Every student po, every learner, continuously aware of the importance of the drill and can safely execute evacuation procedure. Meron din po kami mga magulang, mga guardian na tinatawag natin monthly mock drill, quarterly mock drill. By the way, sa lahat po ng magulang na meron pong tertiary na nag-aaral dito, lalo po yung mga incoming freshmen, Huwag po kayo mag-alala sapagkat ito po ay itinuturo din dun sa subject na NSTP. Ngunit sa ating mga uh, senior ay basic at learners, meron po tayong monthly drill, quarterly mock drill upang paalalahanan kung ano po ang kahalagahan. Huwag din po mag-alala ang inyong mga magulang at mga guardian sapagkat Sabi ko nga po kanina, nung kami dinalaw ni Engineer Baroga at dinalaw po kami ni Engineer Reyes, nakita po nila handang-handa po ang aming organizational chart pagdating po in times of earthquake and fire. Bakit po? Meron kaming incident commander, meron kaming deputy incident commander, meron kaming disaster awareness group, Meron po kaming disaster response group. Ano po ito? Ito po ay mga tao na nakahanda po sa anumang oras na pangangailangan to respond to, er, to any emergency or disaster na pwede pong mangyari. Muli, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga estudyante natin na nakikinig ngayon at nanonood ngayon. Stay safe, stay healthy, mabuhay po kayong lahat, mabuhay ang Pilipinas. We love you at St. Clair College. Magandang umaga po. Again, thank you so much to our Director for the Office of Community Engagement Affairs, Attorney Petronilio Alarcon. And maraming maraming salamat po for ensuring the health and safety of our students as we approach the blended learning modality, malapit na malapit na po. Ayan, kung kanina ay nabanggit ng ating mga principals and academic heads ang ating blended learning modality at nabanggit na rin po ni Attorney Alarcon at na-explain sa atin ang mga paghahanda to make sure na safe po ang ating mga sadyante 
sa ating blended learning modality, siyempre, kailangan at hindi po dapat mawala ang motivation at inspiration para sa ating mga estudyante na yung pag-welcome natin ng school year 2022-2023. Pero, bago ko tawagin ang ating surprise guest for today again, I would like to remind everyone no, na wala pa rin pong nananalo at maya-maya ay mag-umpisa na ang ating raffle kung saan mananalo po tayo ng 10 No, pwede kayo manalo ng isa sa ating 10 Starbucks gift certificates worth 200 pesos, 5,000 pesos cash, at syempre ang ating brand new cellphone. Pwedeng pwede nyo po agad yan kunin dito sa St. Clair College. Kaya naman, walang bibitiw at tutok lamang sa ating mga mahal na Clarians, no? Ganyan tayo kamahal ng St. Clair College. Day one pa lang ng orientation at online orientation, talaga namang pasabog na at punong-puno na tayo ng surpresa. At dahil dyan, gusto ko magpasalamat at i-shoutout ang talaga namang nakatutok pa rin sa atin at hindi bumimitaw simula kaninang 9am. Thank you, thank you so much, no? Hashtag blended learning modality. Very good, Chris William de la Peña. O ngayon pa lang, na-familiarize na natin ang ating mga sarili sa blended learning modality. Ipakalat natin sa ating mga co-clarians yan dahil yan po ang gagamitin natin this school year. O kasama din natin, no? Pa-shoutout po, BLM. Hashtag BLM, John Del Bagis from BS Ed English. Very good, no? Yo, Starbucks, no? Sabi ni John Luther Galuyo. Good morning po, good morning. Blended learning modality for BSBA 1D. Good morning, mga first one. O, di ba? Sabi ni Marjorie De La Cruz. O, good morning din. Blended learning modality po. Gusto namin yan from Marie Solidor. BS Ed English 2A. Ayan. O may nagtanong kanina, when mananalo, maya-maya lamang po, no? After ng ating surprise guest at tatawagin ko, ilang minuto na lamang ay magbibigay po si Sir Adi ng mga katanungan base po sa lahat ng mga speakers o nagsalita or guest natin for today. Kung kayo ay nakatutok simula kanina hanggang po sa susunod na ating mga speaker, mamaya ay magbibigay po si Sir Adi ng mga questions at all you have to do is to answer those questions at maya maya ay ibibigay ko na ang cellphone number kung saan kayo magte-text ng tamang sagot. So kung sino po ang una makasagot o makapagbigay rather ng tamang sagot ay ang mananalo ng ating Starbucks gift certificates. Ayan. 5,000 pesos cash at ang ating brand new cellphone. So dapat nakinig kayo kanina no, from Attorney Alarcon, Ma'am Mary Joy Aquino, Ma'am Ruth Aquino, Sir Jonathan Mendoza, Attorney Alarcon, lahat po yan. No? At ngayon na, hindi ko na patatagalin pa dahil alam ko nga hindi makukumpleto ang ating Good Morning Class episode na hindi siya kasama. Simula ng year one, no? kasi ito na ang ating ikatlong taon ng Good Morning Class, di ba? Third year na tayo, happy anniversary classmates. No? So mabalik ko lang, year one pa lamang ay kasama na natin siya. Hindi siya bumitaw sa atin hanggang year two. At syempre ngayong year 3, talaga namang handang-handa na siya sa ating blended learning modality to give us more inspiration. Tawagin na po natin, ang la uh, tawagin na po natin lahat ang nag-iisang man of wisdom, ang man of discarte, ang proponent po, a father of life skills for life success program. Palakpakan po natin ang nag-iisang Dean Henry S. Tinedero. Good morning, class. Good morning. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat sa ating mga magulang, mag-aaral, mga kawani sa paralan. Isang mapagpalang umaga. Saklaw pa rin ang araw na ito ang ating uh, pagselebra ng ating linggo ng buwan ng wikang Pilipino. Kaya magpaghaluin natin ang ating presentation may English at may Tagalog. Okay? 
So with Faithful Courage, the Life Skills Program heartily welcomes everyone this school year 2022-2023. The past three years have been challenging. Pulong-pulong ng hamon ang ating nilakbay at sa pamamagitan ng ating paniniwala na sa gitna ng lahat, edukasyon pa rin ang kailangan ay binuhay natin ang isang programa sa St. Clair ang tawag ay Life Skills for Life Success Program sa paniniwala na ang tagumpay ng isang tao ay hindi lamang makukuha sa larangan ng academics kung hindi yung tinatawag ng life skills. At yan ang ating natutunan noong panahon ng pandemya. Binigyan linaw sa atin ang kahalagahan ng buhay, ang kahalagahan ng pagkikipagtulungan sa bawat isa, ang pagbibigay saya sa gitna ng hirap at pagbibigay kulay sa gitna ng dilim. Kaya mga kaibigan, naghanda po ako ng isang PowerPoint para ating lakbayin ang tinatawag na Life Skills for Life Success Program dito po sa St. Clair College. Una sa lahat, pasasalamat sa pamunuan ng St. Clair College si President Dr. Claire Adalem, ang ating Vice President at CEO na talagang sumusuporta sa ating Life Skills Program si Dr. Ernesto Ray Adalem at ang buong pamilya ng Adalem na walang humpay ang kanilang paniniwala na sa gitna ng lahat, edukasyon pa rin na magbibigay sigla sa buhay ng bawat kasama natin sa ating community. We are entering an exciting episode in human history. Hindi natin inakala na sa gitna ng maraming hapon, ng hamon, kita'y buhay pa, kita'y masigla para, at kita'y ngayon bumabalik sa tinatawag na face-to-face -face learning and blended learning. No? Maraming katagang lumabas itong panahon ng pandemya. High flex, high uh, blended, etc., etc. So higit na mahalaga, sabi nga ni Teacher Adi kanina na palagi natin sinasabi, sa online platform, hindi ka lang high tech. Ikaw dapat ay high touch din. Huwag kalilimutan ng kahalagahan ng paggamit ng puso sa gitna ng edukasyon sapagkat ang tunay na edukasyon ay hindi lamang tungkol sa grado, hindi lamang ito tungkol sa eskwelahan na pinapasukan mo, ito ay patungkol sa iyong karakter, sa iyong pagkatao. Hindi lamang academic honors, kung hindi ang personal honor mo na pwede mo ipagmalaki, na pwede mong ipagbigay uh, uh, sa lahat na ikaw ay hindi lang matalino, magaling ka pa. Yan ang ating layunin sa panahon na tayo pumapasok sa bagong kabanata ng ating human history. The pandemic has given us every reason to value life to the fullest. Marami po sa atin ang naghirap. Marami po ang nagamba. Hindi natin alam kung ganong katagal. Sa katunayan hanggang ngayon, meron pa rin tayong pandemya. At marami pang darating na pandemya sa ating pag-aakala na hindi natin angkin ang ating, ang ating uh, mundong ginagalawan, tayo ay mga stewards lamang. Tayo lamang po ang taga-subaybay sa mga nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran. Kaya huwag po natin sayangin ang mga leksyon na natutunan natin sa pandemyang ito. Mindsets are being redefined. Mindsets to believe that it is not a tombstone that we are facing, but a stepping stone. That we are not embracing mess in our lives but sending us the message of hope to be alive to be alive and have life to give life to other people the purpose of life is being repurposed we are now looking at life in a many splendor thing malaliman nating tinitingnan ngayon ang kahalagahan ng buhay the life ahead is full of buka challenges sinasabi nga natin Buka stands for volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous environment. Hindi natin alam kung meron pa ba magkakasakit ng, ng COVID, kung ano pa yung mga darating na hamon sa ating buhay, 
Pero ganun pa man, nakita natin nung panahon ng pandemya, yung mga taong simple, sila yun na mayagpag. Hindi na nalintana ang bumiyahe ng MRT, LRT, para lamang mabuhay ang pamilya. Yan ang indomitable spirit ng isang Pilipino, ng isang nilalang na, na, na naniniwala na we have purpose in life and that life should be given significance for us to be able to experience the fullness of life. We are shifting to face-to-face -face from heart-to-heart -heart home learning. Nawala sandali ang tinatawag na face-to-face, -face, pero nagkaroon tayo ng tinatawag naman na heart-to-heart -heart learning. Mas nakilala natin ang gusto ang ating mga anak. Mas nakilala natin ang gusto ng malaliman ang ating pamilya. Hindi pat maganda na kailangan magkaroon pa ng isang pandemya para higit natin maunawaan ng ating mga anak ay may taglay na iba't ibang klaseng talino ng ating pamilya sa gitna ng hirap ang magbubuklod sa atin coming together for the deeper purpose of having life, moving life from success to significance. We hear a lot about different modalities. Napakinggan natin, puro technology, may high-flex learning, may hybrid learning, may online learning, may blended learning modality. Ano man ang modality gamitin mo, kapag ikaw ay sumobra, baka maging high blood ka. Pag maging high blood ka, pupunta ka sa high precision at magkakaroon ka ng high maintenance. So mahalagang isipin natin, ito ay platform lamang. Higit na mahalaga ang iyong pagtuturo na may, na may dalang puso. Different terminologies but with the same purpose. Iisa lamang ang layunin. Ano man ang piliin natin. Sa St. Clair, pinili natin ang blended learning modality o BLM. Sa sinasabi nga ng ating uh, CEO ni Dr. Ray Adalem, sa panahon ngayon, you can learn anything, anywhere, anytime, anyhow. Daging madaling malaman ngayon. Kung meron kang gustong malaman, i-google mo lang. Andiyan na yan. Kaya nga po, pipitiyakin natin na kapag tayo may face-to-face, -face, ang ituturo namin lamang ay yung mga education that matters. Yung sa palagay namin ay magbibigay kulay at halaga mga makabuluhang kaalaman para kayo ay mabigyan ng tagumpay sa buhay. Anytime, anywhere, anyhow. The meaning of success has also been redefined nung panahon ng pandemya. Whereas before, iniisip natin, ang tagumpay ay nakaangkla lamang sa dalawang bagay. Mataas ang iyong IQ, intelligence quotient, magaling ka makisama ang iyong EQ, pero ngayon, meron pangatlo, yung tinatawag na DQ, diskarte mo sa buhay. Diskarte ang nagbigay buhay sa maraming taong buhay pa sa ngayon. Hindi nila inaakalang magaling sila magluto, nag-online business. Hindi nila inaakalang magaling mag-TikTok, naging TikTok, blogger, etc. So, In every crisis, there is an amount, enormous amount of opportunities. It is up to us to take advantage, to embrace the significance of these moments in our lives. Two years have gone and passed, but we are still alive, alert, awake, and enthusiastic. So, pagkataniniwala tayo na edukasyon pa rin ang tugon sa kahirapan, kamangmangan, kakulangan ng pakikisama at lahat. Hindi, hindi purpose ang edukasyon ang anumang tinatawag na high flex, hybrid o blended, kung hindi. Sinasabi natin, kailangan yan ay mixture of everyone. High tech ka na, high touch ka pa. So yan ang kagandahan ng ating blended learning modality na ikakatso, uh, gagawin natin isang ganap na katotohanan sa eskwela nito. May tinatawag din tayo na there's a mark shift from industry 4.0 to 5.0 which in essence is uh, meaning humanizing education. Bago tayo nagkaroon ng pandemya, nagkaroon tayo ng tinatawag na 4.0 industry. Hinahanda natin ang ating mga mag-aaral, ang ating mga graduate sa mundo ng teknolohiya. Subalit, masyado na pabilis tayo. 
Kaya nung dumating ang pandemya, naghanap tayo ng, ka, ng, ng kahulugan. Ano ba ang, ang dinadalang leksyon nito? At yun na nakita natin, ang kahalagahan ng 5.0 or rehumanizing education. We have to rehumanize education because at the end of it all, it is not about technology. It is about bringing back the essence of education to humans because we are human beings, not only human doings. Malaki po ang pagkakaiba nun. Human beings have the human soul and spirit. Human doings, you train for skills. Human beings, you educate for character. It is the character that will make you not only survive, but thrive in these moments of difficulties. Ang diskarte mo sa buhay ay hindi sa pagmememorya, kung hindi malaman kung ano yung tinapinag-aaralan mo sa silit-aralan at anong relasyon nito sa tunay na buhay. Kailangan may mixture ang theory and practice kailangan makita ng bawat isa. Hindi, it's not all about memorization. A memorization without comprehension is simply memorization of facts. But what we're looking at is the essence of comprehension. Ano ang halaga ng sinasabi natin na three states of matter, solid, liquid, gas? Ano ang halaga sa buhay ng bawat isa? Maraming tao naging solid, walang pakialam sa nangyayari sa kapaligiran. Maraming liquid na paiba-iba ang desisyon, depende kung magkano, hindi kung ano. At maraming gases, mag-aaral and then dilipat o pupunta na ibang bayan. So kailangan makita mo, kailangan makita mo ang kahalagahan, ang link, ang koneksyon na natutunan mo sa BA, Education, Computer Science, Tourism, Hospitality Management sa tunay na buhay. Kaya ang St. Clair, alam natin na meron tayong isang napakalawak na virtual laboratory na sa, na sa larangan ng, ng teknolohiya, makakapag-aral ka ng mga bagay na ginagawa sa laboratory. Hindi huminto ang St. Clair na mag-invest sa mga equipment, sa mga technology para ma-appreciate natin that intelligence is a many splendor thing. That intelligence is in every person. Lahat tayo ay may taglay na henyo. Hindi grado magbibigay kulay sa iyong pagkatao, kundi ang iyong paniniwala na ikaw ay may taglay na henyo. Hindi ka man magaling sa Ingles, pero kung magaling ka makisama, magaling ka sa sports, magaling, sa, magaling ka sa pag-drawing, iyan ay talento na hindi natin makikita sa lahat ng tao. Meron tao mga tahimik, pero napakalalim mag-isip. Iyan ang life skills for life success. Meron mga taong magaling mag-drawing, pero hindi masyadong magaling sa math. Iyan ay katalinuhan. Maniwala kayo na kayo ay henyo, ang pinakamayaman sa larangan ng negosyo sa buong mundo na si Bill Gates ay drop out ng Harvard University. After all, as we say, the heart of education is in the education of the human heart. Huwag po natin mamaliitin, hindi data analytics, hindi robotics, hindi, hindi automation, kung hindi the education of the human heart is the center of education. Show me an educated person with high credentials but with no heart, that person is nothing but a second-rate copycat. But show me a person with little education but with a heart full of compassion to me, that is the educated person. If you are uh, kung galing ka ng college, you are just educated. But become more educated by being a learned person at the same time. Highlighting the fundamental thinking. Remember that we are human doings. We are human beings and not human doings. We emphasize that. The two years have given us the opportunity to look inside, to look within to appreciate the fundamental fact na meron tayong pusong gumagalaw, na meron tayong paningin na nakikita, hindi na natin nakikita, kundi nakikita natin ang kahalagahan. Meron tayong mga bagay na naririnig at nauunawa ng gusto na hindi marahil 
kayang gawin ng tinatawag na technology. Technology should be the handmaiden of the civilization and not its masters. That whatever modality we use, we should view technology as the handmaiden of civiliz civilization and not its own masters. Ikaw pa rin ang bossing ng sarili mo. Yung pagkatao mo pa rin ang magbibigay ng aptitude, ng latitude ng iyong tagumpay sa tunay na buhay. Okay? The, this idea goes deeper into believing na sabi ko nga, lahat tayo ay may taglay na henyo. There is no meaning if you will belittle yourself. For you are powerful beyond measure. Your intelligence, your quality as a person goes beyond what you know in the realm of academics. Academics will help you prepare in the real world. But it is your character that will put meaning in your presence sa tunay na buhay. Pakakatandaan niyo po yan. Hindi kahirapan ang magbibigay ng hudyat kung hanggang saan ka makakarating. Kung ikaw'y mahirap, physical lamang yan. Magtrabaho ka, magsumikap ka, maniwala ka na ikaw henyo, and what you sow is what you will reap. Ano yung itanin, itanin mo, yan ang aanihin mo. Knowing that many of the world's successful individuals are products of what we call multiple intelligences. Okay? Lahat po tayo ay may taglay na iba't ibang klaseng katalinuhan. Lahat po tayo ay may learning styles pamamaraan ng pagtututo, pero hindi po tayo lah Pero lahat po tayo ay merong pagkakaiba kung paano matuto. Merong mga visual learners, merong mga auditory learners, merong mga tactile learners, at merong mga kinesthetic learners. Yan ang ibabalik natin kapag dumako tayo sa face-to-face -face learning na hindi robotics, na hindi monotonous, kung hindi the teacher is an edutainer. nag educate na, nag entertain pa. Para sa ganon, ang learning ay hindi lamang papasok sa ating cognitive, sa brain, kung hindi pagpasok sa brain, siya ay dadako sa ating puso, sa affective, at kapag ikaw ay cognitive at affective learning, then guaranteed action, inspiring ang iyong paggalaw. That we all have learning styles, But each person learn differently. Thus, we need to value individual differences. Nakita po natin ng mga magulang na sa panunong na pandemya na meron kang apat na anak na iisa ang DNA. Pero sa apat na yan, bet you, nakita mo na iba't ibang klase kung paano sila mag-aral. Iba't ibang klase kung paano sila mag-isip. Pero sila ay iisa ang DNA. Iisang ama, iisang ina. Yan ay isang siyensya. Evidence-based siya na sabi, meron tayong individual learning differences. So, anumang subject has to be taught in a global, in an edutainment way para mas malalim ang pagkatuto. This is where the very essence, yung ating programa rito na tinatawag na life skills for life success is coming in. In essence, Ito'y patungkol sa nurturing the compassionate heart, hindi lamang ang ating thinking mind. It is about developing the soft or essential skills, hindi lamang ang academic skills. Because you can memorize any data, but unless the data that you have memorized will be comprehended, then it remains data memorized. Okay? Pero sa life skills, Naniniwala tayo na kapag ito'y ma-imbibe, ma-integrate sa ating curriculum, which will happen this school year, level up na po. Sabi nga ni Teacher Adi, from day day one, from year one, year two, year three, mas nakita natin ang kahalagahan kung bakit dapat natin baybayin, yakapin ang tinatawag na life skills for life success. Hindi ka man magkaroon ng mataas na academic grades, numerical aid, uh, grade for that matter. Pero pagbusilak at klaro ang iyong life skills, sabaya mo pa ng IQ, ng EQ, at ng DQ, magiging matagumpay ka. Bet you, guarantee you, na maniwala ka na ikaw ay henyo, yakapin mo, isa buhay mo, ang life skills, ikaw ay magiging ganap na tagumpay. Knowing fully well that while grades are important, 
mahalaga. More important is the character that you bring to life. And that character will make you do because who you are is what you do. Ulitin ko po. Who you are is what you do depending on five different factors. Paano ka pinalaki ng iyong magulang? Pangalawa ng iyong edukasyon? Pangatlo ng iyong reliyon? Pangapat ng iyong mga kaibigan? At panglima, yung sarili mong diskarte sa iyong problema. Diyan lang po umiikot ang buhay. Sa aking pakiwari, what I am now is how I was brought up by these five different elements in my human life. Not academics alone, but the parents that I had, the education I had, education that defines intelligence as a many spender thing. And this is what? Your character will determine your future, not your grades. Grades are only numbers, but character is the essence of your being. This is the foundation of your core. This is the essence of your life. Character makes a person. You will soon realize that receiving high grades or academic honors are of equal importance as to having personal honor. Personal honor that is not dictated alone by success. Malaki nga ang bahay mo, hindi naman tahanan. Maganda ang higaan mo, hindi naman masarap ang tulog. It still goes back to the essence of character. Gusto po namin habang kayo'y nasa St. Clair College, mabiyayaan kayo ng tinatawag natin na life skills for life success. At ito po ang ating babaybayin sa darating na semestre, sa darating na school year. Patitibayin po natin, palalalimin ang implementasyon ng life skills for life success. Expect a more vibrant integration of life skills for life success. Katulong ang ating mga faculty, ang ating mga student leaders sa buong programa at iba't ibang subject areas. Meron pong limang kategory, ang life skills na hindi nararapat na malaman lamang academically. Unang-una, yung pansariling pangangasiwa o personal management. Kapag alam mong pangalagaan ang iyong sarili, tagumpay na yan. Tapos yung pangalawa, makabuluhang kapang mag-communicate, purposeful communication. You don't only talk, but you communicate beyond the syntax of language. Panalo ka na naman. And then, hindi ka mang produktibo. Okay? Ikaw ay produktibong nagkatrabaho. So, you don't only do it for the sake of doing it, but you find meaning in your work, making you gainfully productive. Panalo ka na naman. And number four, masuring pagmamasid na hindi mo na nakikita na babatid mo pa at nakoconnect mo pa sa ang kahalagahan na iyong nakikita sa tunay na buhay. Mindful perception. Hindi lang pananaw, kundi makabuluhang pananaw. And number five, kapag magaling ka sa pakikipag-ugnayan uh, sa iba't ibang klaseng tao, social interaction, sa aking pakiwari, kapag itong limang ito ay hindi mo lang ma-memorize, kapag itong limang ito ay malaman mo, may sabuhay mo, at may bahagi mo, ikaw ay magiging tagumpay sa buhay. Iyan ang tatak ng St. Clair student at St. Clair graduate na aming gusto mangyari sa lahat na mag-aaral dito. Learning schools. And then, magkakaroon tayo ng mga workbooks patungkol sa breaking the IQ myth. Kailangan bigyan natin ng science base. Bakit kailangan natin wasakin ang, panini- ang, 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 ang maling paniniwala ng katalinuhan ay para lamang doon sa magaling sa math at magaling sa language. You have to break the IQ myth. Again, remember, mindsets should be redefined. And then, meron din tayong programa para sa magulang. Cooking up a creative genius. Sinabi natin, lahat ng anak nyo ay may taglay na henyo. Patutunayan po namin yan. Laban. Okay, sa larangan ng siyensya na lahat ng bata ay may taglay na henyo. Sa mga bata, aha, I got ya. Para mahikayat mo ang iyong sarili sa paniniwala na hindi lamang ito slogan na kapag sinabi namin ikaw ay henyo, yan ay evidence-based. And then, sa mga mga bibigay ng presentasyon, 
using passion and laughter in your presentation. It is not what you teach, but how you teach what you know. By using passion and laughter, you will become an edutainer. You will become a complete, you know, uh, presenter. And finally, your life skills for life success. Meron po tayong dinevelop na 54 skills na yan po ay magiging bahagi ng bawat subject natin ngayon school year. Celebrating. Magkakaroon po tayo ng iba't ibang klaseng mga celebrasyon. Service Learning Week. Para ma maisabuhay mo ang kahalagahan ng pagbibigay servisyo na hindi lamang siya OJT, malalimang pananaw sa pagsiservisyo. Education that matters week. Pananaw natin sa kahalagahan ng mga bagay na hindi sa cloud na academic kung hindi yung education that really matters. Character week. Pagbibigay pugay sa kahalagahan ng karakter na isang tao. Global Interdependence Week. Okay? Pasensya na po kayo sa mga ibang typographical error. Okay? So, and then, meron tayong lahat tayo ay henyo. Isang festival na mapapatunay at ilalarawan natin at iba't ibang klaseng katalinuan meron tayo at marami pang iba. At St. Clair, we value our mission, vision, core values, and professional development programs towards holistic leading, learning, and teaching. Our vision, mission, and core values are not only sketched or written in papers. They are etched in every human heart. Gusto pa natin na isa puso ng bawat isa ang layunin, ang purpose of being ng ating paralan. Para kapag dumating ang panahon na ikaw ay maging alumni o alumnus o alumna ng paralan ito, pagbalik mo, ang tanging pasasalamat na ikaw ay hinubog hindi lamang sa larangan ng akademya kundi sa larangan ng life skills program. Yan po ang ating buhay itong bagong year 2022 to 2023. Magkikita pa po, po tayo. Marami pa po tayong pagkakataon na mag-usap para higit na maunawaan. I'm excited to, I'm looking forward to our having face-to-face. -face. Iba pa rin talaga. Gusto kong madama ang inyong presensya. Mahirap pagsalita na hindi kayo nakikita. Doon mo makikita talaga interaction. From face-to-face -to, -face, to home to home, then back to face-to-face -to -face because St. Clair will put to life what we call blended learning mod modality. So God bless you all and more power to this school year. Maraming maraming salamat po. Just in time for lunch o pananghalian, talaga namang busog na busog tayo sa Nuggets of Wisdom na nag-iisang Father of Life Skills for Life Success Program, Dean Henry S. Tenedero. Maraming maraming salamat po as we officially welcome the school year 22-23. Talaga namang nabusog po tayo sa kaalaman, inspirasyon at motivation ngayon mula sa nag-iisang again, Dean Henry S. Tenedero. Kaya naman po dahil dyan, no, masahin ko lang po yung ibang napakagandang mensahe at comments mula sa ating mga estudyante na talaga naman nakinig kay Dean Henry. Sabi nga natin na since 2019, you never failed us to give us new knowledge. I am proud to say that the caption we are using for today, BS Ed English, is inspired by your words of wisdom. Did maraming maraming salamat po. 
from uh, Rosaline Balala. O, di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo, simula year one, simula nung uh, uh, nagkaroon ng pandemic kasama na si Dina at ngayong blended na tayo, kasama pa rin natin ang ating nag-isang man of wisdom. Thank you so much po, Dean, for a very wonderful speech from Jera Lee Amor. BLM, nasa puso yan at pagkatao. Gaya ng sabi ni Dean. Um, thank you so much, Aldrin Dakanay. Ayan. Okay, basahin pa natin. Napakaganda ng mga message. No? Grateful for everything I have heard this day. Most especially to Dean Tenedero. Thank you so much, St. Clair College. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat din sa iyo. Ayan, napakabilis. Hindi ko na nabasa yung kanyang pangalan. But again, thank you so much. Idol ko si Dean Henry. Thank you so much for, for the very inspiring speech. God bless you. Hashtag blended learning modality. Ayan o, maraming maraming salamat po again sa lahat na nakatutok sa atin at hindi pa tayo tapos. No, alam kong tanghalian na pero tutok-tutok lamang po tayo dahil ngayon na po, no, ngayon na ngayon na ay mamimigay na tayo ng ating mga raffle prizes. No? Meron na po tayong uh, paper bag dito. Ano kaya yung laman ng paper bag ni Sir Adi kanina? Pinakita ko na po ang ating mga consolation prizes wherein we will be giving away 10. 10 Starbucks gift certificates were 200 each. No? So, pwede-pwede na tayong i-date ang ating mga kaibigan no? or ang inyong family members. At 5,000 pesos no? for our second prize. And for our grand prize for today, no? kung kayo ay nakinig sa ating mga speakers for today, kasama ko at hawak ko na dito. Tingnan natin. Ang brand new, o oh, yan, no? kabibili lang, di ba? Brand new, bagong-bago talaga. Ang ating Vivo Y. Uh, Y02S Ayan o, nakalagay Y02S At pwedeng-pwede yan i-claim agad no? Kung kayo ang manalo today Meron din siyang iba pa mga freebies Na nasa loob ng paper bag So meron tayong gift certificates Meron tayong cash prices At brand new cellphone Handa na ba kayo lahat? Okay So gaya ng sabi ni Sir Adi kanina Magbibigay ako ng questions All you have to do is to Text the correct answer Okay So ngayon, ihanda nyo na, i-save nyo na ang numerong ibibigay ko para kung alam nyo ang sagot, i-text na agad yan sa 0905-546-8966. Again, no, sa ating mga lahat kasali, no, from our teachers, students, faculty, staff, lahat po ng buong St. Clair College community, kasali po kayo kung kayo ay nakinig at alam ang tamang sagot. Again, i-text po yan sa 0905-546-8966. 8966. Nakuha po ba? Okay, again 09055468966. Kaya naman, hindi na natin patatagalin pa. Mamimili po tayo ng tatlong winners po agad, no? O sige, gawin na nating lima. Ilima na natin agad. Five winners of our Starbucks gift certificates worth 200 pesos each. Ayan. Our first question. Marami kasi mga sadyante sa atin na nagtatanong, no, Ma'am, sir, ano po ang aking schedule? Ano po ang aking section? Ano po ang kailangan kong gawin? No? All you have to do is to what? Binanggit ni Sir Adi kanina yan. ba? Diba? Kaya naman kung alam nyo ang sagot, i-text na yan. Saan tayo pupunta? St. Clair, pakikompleto. St. Clair Online. O, oh, pinabigay ko na. Ah. Ilalagay nyo na lang yung tatlong important letters. Kung kayo ay mag-check ng inyong schedule, section, advisors, at iba pang information, Nandiyan ang ating college corner, senior high school corner at basic education corner. Saan kayo pupunta? sinclaironline.com slash I-text nyo na agad yan sa number na binigay ko. Again, we're looking for five winners. Don't forget, syempre mga anak, pagka-text ang tamang sagot, i-text nyo rin syempre ang inyong pangalan at section para kayo ay makilala. Ayan. Tingnan natin, pabilisan. O ba, napakadami agad? Okay. Sige, titignan natin yung pinakauna para fair tayo, no? Limang pipilihin, okay, sayang walang pangalan, pero tama yung sagot. Kailangan syempre mga anak may pangalan, no? Para kayo ay ma-identify natin. Okay, first answer, actually the correct answer is, again, para sa mga naliligaw at hindi alam kung saan ang kanilang section and schedule, all you have to do is to go to sinclaironline.com slash L, L-M-S. Kaya naman our first winner, no? Tao nakapagbigay ng tamang sagot. Winner of Starbucks gift certificate from BED4A, Glea Barredo. Okay, Glea Barredo. Pwede-pwede ka na pumunta dito to claim your Starbucks GC, no? Ayan, Glea Barredo from BED4A. Our second winner. 
Ay, nabi na backtalk ni Sir Adi, ha? Ayan, second winner. Okay, walang pangalan, sayang. So, we have Glea Baredo. I-screenshot lang natin para matandaan natin yung mga winners natin. Our second winner, tingnan natin. Okay, tama rin sagot niya from BSHM naman. Sinkeronline.com slash LMS Crystal Jasmine Gonzalez. Second winner. Okay. Next, third winner from BSBA naman. Tama rin ang kanyang sagot. Harvey Altajeros. O, may tumatawag. Hindi po kayo tatawag ha. Magte-text lang po. <laughs> Ayan, o. Oh. Harvey Altajeros Viernes from BSBA 1A. We already have our third winner. Dalawa na lamang po. Don't worry, marami pa tayo mga prizes, no? Our third winner, sayang, walang pangalan. Okay. From Grade 12 Humanities and Social Sciences, Janela Agtarap. Okay, no? Agtarap, our fourth winner. And our last winner for this uh, particular segment is, okay, walang pangalan. All right. From BSCS, tama rin ang kanyang sagot, LMS. Uh, Meli, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is Melite Anud from Melite or Melite Anud from BSCS 1A. So lahat po nung nabanggit kong pangalan, you are the first five winners of our, our Starbucks gift certificate worth 200 pesos each. Okay. Don't worry sa mga hindi naman po nakapasok sa first five na may tamang sagot, meron pa po tayong another five Starbucks gift certificates, meron pang 5,000 cash at brand new cellphone. Okay? So wag kayong malungkot. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, di ba, Napaka-importante kasi very random natin ang ating mga question. Okay? Alright, handa na ba tayo sa pangalawa? Okay, syempre tuloy-tuloy na natin dahil ano, it's lunch time, no? Tuloy-tuloy na natin. Another set of five Starbucks gift certificates. The second question is, oh, same routine ha, itetext yung tamang sagot sa number na binigay ko kanina. But this time, this, this is now a different question. Okay? Ayan. Okay, our second question. Ma'am, sir, kanina yung schedule, pupunta daw sa sinclaironline.com slash LMS. This time, marami rin o isa rin sa pinaka uh, laging katanungan ng ating mga sadyante, tayo ba ay face-to-face o online? Ano nga bang learning modality na gagamitin natin this school year? Ito may choices, mamimili kayo. Itatext nyo lang yung tamang letter ng tamang sagot. Okay? Anong modality ang gagamitin natin for this school year? A. Pure online. B. Pure face-to-face. -face. Or letter C. Blended learning modality. O, itek sa tam agad ang tamang sagot. Is it A. Pure online. B. Pure face-to-face. -face, or C. Blended learning. O, yung letter lang po ay hindi yung mismong word. So, it's either A, B, or C lang. Okay? Tingnan natin. Kailangan lang po yung letter. No? May nagsagot na ng tamang sagot. Kaya lang it should be the letter. I will choose five winners. Okay, okay. Ang bilis. Our first winner. Okay, very good. We have Tiffany Lorraine Montenegro from BSBA 1E. Oh, by the way, ang tamang kasagutan ay blended learning modality. Hindi tayo pure online. Hindi rin pure face-to-face. -face, but learning, uh, tayo ay blended learning modality. Pero may katanungan kanina, no? Paano yan, sir, kung hindi po ako makakapag-participate sa blended learning modality? Dahil po ako ay nasa malayong lugar. Hindi yan problema, no? All you have to do ay i-inform mo lang anak ang iyong advisor o ang iyong department head para ikaw ay makapag-apply ng full online. Pwede rin yan. Pwede tayong pure online para sa mga distance students natin, pwede rin modular at para sa karamihan ay ang ating blended. Okay? So, first winner yung kanina. Second winner natin. Piliin na natin. So, first is Tiffany. Second, ayan na, tinitignan mabuti ni Sir Adi. We have again from BSBA, Loreleen Bunaw. Huwag po kayong tumawag. No, text lang po. Loreleen Bunyaw. Bunaw or Bunyaw from BSBA. Ayan. Second winner po yan. Now, let's call on our third winner. No, blended learning modality or letter C. We have... Aba, from BS, puro BSBA ito. Ha, okay, natataon lang po, ah. Yan po talaga yung una nakasagot, no? John Anthony Lamba, Lamberte, no? From BSBA. So, we already have three. Okay, last two po for our second question. Tingnan po natin. Okay, kailangan na dyan po yung pangalan. Okay, natawag ko na siya. Okay. 
May tama ang sagot, kaya lang wala ang pangalan. Don't forget to include your name, mga anak, ha? Okay. Ayan, mga walang pangalan yung iba. So, hanapin natin. Okay. Sayang naman. Okay, now, our fourth winner from Tourism, BSTM Ronel Noces of 4B. Okay, tama rin yung sagot niya, no? Letter C. And last but not the least, ang ating fifth winner, tingnan natin. Oh, from Political Science, Christine Fabiliar. Okay, tama rin yung sagot niya, Christine Fabiliar. Okay, so kumpleto na po ang ating five winners, actually ten winners of Starbucks gift certificates. Again, we still have the 5,000 pesos cash in, the brand new cell phone brought to us by St. Clair College. Again, thank you so much to Dr. Ernesto Ray Giadalem for the sponsoring our major prizes for today. Ayan. So, syempre, patatagalin lang natin ng onte, kaunti na lang, para sa ating mga grand prizes. Kaya naman, makinig tayo sa ating susunod na magsasalita. Kung kanina ay winelcome ng ating mahal na presidente ang ating mga sadyante sa pagbubukas ng school year 2022-2023, no? si Dr. Claire, winelcome tayong lahat. I-explain din ng ating mga academic heads ano nga bang blended learning modality. At syempre, binigyan tayo ng security measures and the protocol si Attorney Alarcon at ang ating mga nuggets of wisdom at inspiration and motivations from Dean Henry Tenedero para kumpletuhin po ang sangkap ng ating masarap na handog para sa ating mga sadyante for today. Siyempre ngayong blended learning na tayo, kailangan po na siyempre i-observe natin ang good manners and right conduct. Kaya naman nandito to explain and discuss further about netiquettes for online classes and good classroom behavior for face-to-face -face classes, tawagin na po natin ang napakasipag na director ng Office of the Student Affairs Services no other than Dr. Catherine S. Pagulayan. Good morning, everyone! Good morning, Clarians! So, para sa mga first sons na nag-enroll sa St. Clair College, this is all for you. So, welcome to our startup module. It's school year 2022-2023. So, ready na ba kayo mga ka-first sons? <laughs> okay, so I am going to discuss today is our classroom behavior. So, nabanggit na natin kanina no, that we are going to uh, have our blended learning modality. So, pag sinabi natin blended learning modality, it is the mix of online distance learning and limited face-to-face. -face. 
So whether it is online classroom or face-to-face -face classroom, napaka-importante po na meron tayong magandang behavior. So behavior is the way how a person acts or reacts in a particular situation. So hindi natin makokontrol kung ano man yung mga bagay na mangyayari sa paligid natin. What we can control is our own emotions, our own responses, and our own actions. So regardless of what modality we are going to use for the delivery of learning, what important most is we possess an acceptable behavior. Tandaan nyo ha, an acceptable behavior on both classroom, whether it is online or face-to-face. Always be mindful of our netiquette. So, pag sinabi nating netiquette, it is our acceptable behavior in our online classes. So, ano ba yung netiquette na to? Uh, para dun sa mga bago nating clearance, no? Netiquette is a combination of the words network and etiquette. So, etiquette is the right ticket to a good behavior. And it is defined as a set of rules for acceptable online behavior. So, in short, that is internet etiquette. So, we are now in the global education in a digital city where online became the extension of our physical world. Pero sabi nga ni Dean Henry kanina, no, na we are now in the Education 5.0 in which we are rehumanizing. So, dapat kahit nasa digital era na tayo, hindi nawawala yung pagiging uh, humanitarian natin, yung pag, uh, pagmamalasakit natin sa ating kapwa. So, if ethics is important in our real world, so in our digital world as well. So, here are some guides for our online behavior, the netiquette. So, be neat. Empathize. Time in your classes 15 minutes before. Lagi ngang sinasabi ng ating mahal na president na do not be on time, but rather be ahead of time. So, don't forget to interact. So, sabi nila, no, nawala daw ang socialization sa online learning. Nawala yung ating socialization sa digital learning. Pero, hindi ito mawawala if we know how to interact. We know how to interact with our teachers and classmates. Ask questions politely. Use respectful language. Be ethical. Turn off your mic when you are not the one to speak. Turn on your cameras. Exclude some distractions. So, una, be neat. So, yun yung acronym natin for the netiquette. So, be neat in your place. Make it tidy and organize your table or your study area. There is a study na kapag maganda ang ating study area, mas nagpa-function ng maigi yung ating mga um, brain cells. Yan. Mas nakakapag-focus tayo sa studies natin. As you enter your online classes, binit as well. No? So, kailangan prepare tayo na para rin talaga tayong papasok sa ating face-to-face -face classes. In the submission of your school works, may mga na-encounter ako minsan, nagsasubmit, parang pinagbalutan na ng tinapa yung kanilang school work. Hello! Yan. So, be professional at all times. So, empathize. Ito na yung sinasabi natin sa Education 5.0. No? It is not just putting yourself into other shoes. Sabi natin, pag empathy, nilalagay mo yung shoes mo sa shoes ng iba. But the true meaning of empathy for me is hindi mo lang nilalagay yung sarili mo dun sa sapatos ng iba but rather nararamdaman mo kung ano yung pakiramdam na ikaw yung nagsusuot ng kanyang sapatos. Bakit hindi clothes? Bakit hindi cup? Bakit shoes? Pansin ninyo, sa shoes, dun mo ramdam ang lahat. So, dapat nararamdaman natin yung ating mga kaklase, yung ating mga kaguruan. It is more of understanding how to be in the other shoes. So, it is not just a matter of feelings, but it is a matter of understanding. Okay? So, time in your classes. 
15 minutes before. Bakit? Huwag kayong mainip. Ha, sasabihin nyo, 5 minutes na lang. No, bakit kailangan natin mag-time in ng 15 minutes in online classes? To avoid hurrying things up. Sometimes, hindi natin kontrolado yung internet, ba? Diba? So, kung kailan magkaklase, doon nawawalan ng net, doon nagloloko yung gadget, doon biglang maglolobat si gadget. So, para ma-avoid natin yung mga ganitong bagay. And next, to avoid our changing, to avoid changing of our moods, no? Sometimes, ang hirap mag-shift ng emotion. Ang brains natin, for us to study well, kailangan parang makina din ng kotse yan, na nire-revolution natin, no? Medyo ini-start up natin. Kaya nga tayo meron ngayon na start up module for the whole week. Kasi ini-start up na natin to change our mood na tapos na yung bakasyon tayo na ay mag-aaral. So, hindi lang tayo papasok ha, mag-aaral. Okay? So, for you and your household to have a mindset that you shouldn't be disturbed. Sometimes, no, para alam din ni mother and father na oras na ng klase mo. Para sa ating mga nanay at tatay na nakikinig, wag rin tayo na kung kailan magkaklase na yung anak, doon tayo mag-uutos sa kanila. So, pag nakita na natin na nakaupo sila in their specific area, ibig sabihin they are making themselves to be ready for their classes. So, to have some time for small errands. Interact with your teachers and classmates so that we can still be connected. Ask questions. Walang masama sa pagtatanong. Yung iba, no, naiya silang magtanong kung may right bed ba dito. Ay, hindi, joke lang. <laughs> no? So, hindi nakakahiyang magtanong. So, ask questions politely. Yun ang mas nakakahiya. Pag nagtanong tayo ng rude, no? So, you have to ask questions Politely, There is nothing wrong in asking questions to make clarification. But you have to do it politely. Okay? Use respectful language. Maging magalang tayo. Say greetings upon entering your virtual classes. Di ba? Pagkaon mo, good morning ma'am, good morning sir. Ayan. So, simpleng ganyan. To show our uh, politeness in class. Always say please, thank you, sorry, excuse me. Avoid obscene or foul language. Alam niyo ba na lahat ng values na dapat na matututunan ng isang individual ay eh dapat natututunan niya during the kindergarten days. So, ito yung mga basic values natin na dapat hanggang ngayon hindi natin inaalis. Sometimes, no, yung mga college students natin, especially yung mga ibang working students, hindi ko naman nilalahat, no, tsaka yung mga mother na talaga, na parang, syempre, medyo nawawala na yung po at opo. Pero pag teacher mo yung kausap mo, kahit mas bata pa sa yung teacher mo, you have to respect the authority of your teacher. So, always say respectful language. Be ethical. So, pag sinabi nating ethical, ano yung standard nito? So, gawin mo kung ano yung gusto mong gawin sa'yo, huwag mong gawin kung ano yung ayaw mong gawin sa'yo. As simple as that. Halimbawa, nagsasalita ka. Gusto mo ba sinasabayan ka magsalita? Of course not. So, kung gusto mo ng ganun, you have to be, be very ethical na gawin mo rin yung gusto mong gawin sa'yo. Okay? So, always remind our SCC core values. So, pag may nagsasalita, turn off your microphone. Pero pag tinanong kayo ng teacher nyo, especially if your name are being called, so turn on your microphone and start to speak. Or kung gusto nyo naman, may mga emoticons tayo doon na raise hand, pwede natin i-click yun, yung raise hand. No? Ibig sabihin, you want to say something. You want to recite something. You want to share your knowledge in your respective classes. Turn on your cameras. Ewan ko ba, no, mga clarians, ang gaganda ang popogi naman. Pero yung iba, ayaw nilang mag-turn on ng camera. No? So kung talagang gusto nating matuto, nasa atin yun. So you have to turn on your cameras. No? para lalo pa po tayong ganahan sa ating pag-aaral. Exclude some distractions. Alisin muna natin. If I am not mistaken, 2 hours lang ang klase natin, 4 hours lang ang klase natin. So, napakahaba ng araw. So, sa 4 hours na yun, dedicate your time in studying. Dedicate your time 
to study well. Ang pagkatuto nasa mag-aaral. Okay? Kahit gaano kagaling ang teacher mo, kung hindi ka naman makikinig sa kanya sa oras ng klase, baliwala ang galing ng teacher mo. Okay? So, you have to exclude some distractions and focus on your classes. Hope you will always remember this on how you are going to behave properly in our online classes. And syempre, dahil blended na tayo, sino sa inyo excited na sa blended? Kaya nga, yun, kung gusto nyo mag-chat dyan sa ating chat box or sa ating comment box na I'm excited with the blended, no? So, since we will soon be implementing our limited face-to-face, -face, kindly remember this. Bakit? Kung sa online nga, meron tayong um, online class behavior, di lalo na sa physical or sa limited, no? Face-to-face -face classes natin. First, pagpupunta po kayo dito sa ating paaralan, kasi yung limited face na face na nga po tayo, ba? Diba? So, meron tayong once a week na pupunta kayo dito sa school para makapag-aral, especially those laboratory subjects. So, una, wear appropriate clothes when going to school. Okay lang na maging fashionista, okay lang na yan yung trip mong isuot, pero it should be appropriate when coming to school. So, usong-uso ngayon, crop top, di ba? So, parang kulang na lang lahat ng damit mo, kinrap na. <laughs> Okay, di ba? So, medyo pagpupunta tayo sa school. So, appropriate proper clothing. You can wear school uniform if you want. Your uh, principal or heads will be discussing that tomorrow, no? So, you can wear school uniform if you want. But I encourage, no? Na kasi mas maganda pag naka-uniform tayo. Unang-una, mas tipid sa labada, di ba? Di ka na mag-iisip ng isusuot mo. And yung discipline na talagang pupunta ka sa school na andon. Pero... In the absence of uniform, kasi ganyan ang St. Clair, dapat sa kami dito kung ano yung makakatulong para sa estudyante, we are very flexible. So, in the absence of uniform, you can wear white t-shirt, pants, or skirts. Pero yung skirt natin should be in appropriate length. Okay? O kaya blazer, di ba? So, kahit anong inner mo, basta may blazer ka, lalo na nakadalawang air condition tayo dito, no? So, pwede kayo mag-wear ng blazer. Then, avoid wearing crop tops, shorts, micro mini, sando, and house clothes. Avoid also wearing slippers and slip-ons. You must wear closed shoes. Para sa protection nyo rin yan. Okay? And syempre, dahil uh, hindi pa tapos ang pandemic natin, di ba? We are in the post-pandemic, no? So, always bring this with you. Face mask. Yan. So, dapat hindi tayo nakakalimot mag-face mask. Yung iba, naka-face mask nga, pero nakababa naman, di ba? So, don't, no? So, hindi lang yan para sa sarili mo, pero para din sa mga taong nakakasalamuha mo. So, do not forget to wear face mask. So, huwag sasama yung loob nyo kapag hindi tayo pinapasok dito ng walang face mask. It is for the uh, protection of everyone. Okay? Alcohol. Although, lagi tayo may alcohol sa mga classrooms natin, pero iba pa rin yung may sarili ka. So, alcohol, things essential for your schooling. Baka mamaya kompleto ka ng makeup, pero wala ka namang notebook and ball pen. <laughs> Diba? So, dapat lahat ng essential for your schooling. And especially, bring this with you. The right attitude. Yan. So, yung mga hindi nating magandang pag-uugali, hindi naman lahat perfecto eh. Lahat talaga may negative side, may positive side. Pero yung negative side natin or negative attitude natin, iwan muna natin sa bahay. Yan. So, dalin natin sa pagpasok sa school ang right attitude. So, paano ba natin malalaman kung may right attitude tayo? So, simple lang. Be mindful of this. Be polite. Kami dito sa school, kahit mga janitor, janitress, kahit sinong pumasok, we use good morning, we greet, no? Good, good afternoon. So, always be polite pag nakikipag-usap tayo. So, be neat kung papaano tayo pumapasok sa online. Be early 
no? Bakit? Once a week na nga lang yung pasok nyo, late ka pa. Two hours na nga lang yung pasok nyo, late ka pa ng one hour. Hello? O yan. So, be early as possible. Do all your tasks. Clarians, hindi lang tayo nag-aaral para makapagtapos ng pag-aaral. Nag-aaral tayo para may matutunan. Okay? At hindi tayo matututo kung hindi natin gagawin lahat ng task na pinapagawa ni teacher. Bakit ba pinapagawa ni teacher yan? Trip niya lang? Gusto niya lang? No. Pinapagawa niya yan for your discovery learning. That is the best way to learn. Pansin niyo, pag sinabi sa inyo, ang bilis nyong makakalimutan. Pag napakinggan nyo or sinabi nyo, kahit pa paano matatandaan. Pero pag ginawa nyo talaga, it can become a lifetime learning. Okay. So recite. Sabi ko nga kanina, pag napakinggan nyo lang, 10% na retain Pero pag sinabi mo, 30% na retain So pag ginawa mo, 90% ma retain Okay? So importante sa lahat, follow rules, regulations, and school policies, no? Para maging mabuti tayong mag-aaral ng St. Clair College. Always use positive language, foster positive relations with one another. Dito sa St. Clair, uh, lagi tayong uh, walking and never keep on running, no? Para hindi tayo magkabanggaan and always walk to the right. Yan. So, have a good manners with you. Be kind, not just to others, but also to yourself. Minsan, nagiging kind tayo sa ibang tao, pero nagkakalimutan natin maging kind sa ating sarili. So, once na naging kind ka sa sarili mo, yung kindness na yan, maiimpart mo sa ibang tao. Okay? So, get excited to learn. So, malapit na, no? So, get excited to learn. Respect. No? Napaka-importante yan. Raise your hand if you want to speak. And importante sa lahat, engage no kasi baka mamaya andito ka nga sa online class mo andito ka nga sa face to face classes mo pero lumilipad naman yung utak mo iniisip mo kung saan kayo maglalakwat sa after your class iniisip nyo kung saan kayo kakain ng merienda after uh, class no so you have to engage doon sa studies ng teachers nyo, doon sa lesson, no? And, pag nandito tayo sa school, do not roam around. Huwag tayong pakalat-kalat. Why? Kasi meron tayong rules na we should be staying only at our school, in our school for limited time only to avoid yung mga illnesses na pwede pa nating makuha. Although, very ready with the safety measures ang school natin. Pero kahit anong readiness ng school natin, kung hindi mo iingatan ang sarili mo, it will be useless. So, kailangan natin ingatan yung sarili natin. Attitude matters the most. Kahit gaano kakatalino, kung hindi naman tama ang ating pag-uugali, sayang ang talino natin. And, we will surely able to do all those reminders if we have a self-discipline. Ang tawag po sa amin dyan is a psychological contract. Meaning to say, kahit wala tayong kontratang pinirmahan na susunod kayo sa rules and regulations, sa online classroom policies or face-to-face -face classroom behavior, kahit wala kayong teacher para i-guide kayo at bantayan kayo sa mga sinasabi natin yan, if you have a self-discipline in yourself, you are going to have all those good behavior. God bless everyone.
Again, maraming maraming salamat po to our Director from the Office of Student Affairs and Services, Dr. Catherine S. Pagulayan, for reminding our clarions of the essence or the importance of ating uh, good behavior, ating good manners and right conduct, mapa online man or face-to-face -face classes. No? And also, she emphasized nga po sa ating uh, blended learning, ano ba yung mga dapat nating tandaan na tayo ngayon ay transitioning na to blended learning modality. ba diba? Yung ating hashtag for today. Hashtag blended learning modality. Hashtag BLM. Lagi natin tatandaan yan mga clarions. Let's all start familiarizing ourselves with that term. O, o ba? Diba? Sabi natin nga, no? At gaya rin labang ito din Henry kanina. Blended learning modality ay kombinasyon ng online classes at meron ding face-to-face -face classes. Kung saan ang ating mga general subjects. O, tatandaan nito. Makinig mabuti ha. Ang ating mga general subjects ay kukuhain o papasukan natin online, synchronously. ba? Diba? Ngayon naman, para sa mga subjects na laboratory subjects, electives, practical subjects, life skills and for life success program at professional development program, yan yung mga subject that matters. Kaya naman yan are to be conducted face-to-face. -face. Para malaman nyo kung anong araw nakaplat ang inyong general subject, at anong araw nakaplat ang inyong mga life skills subject, ay pwede nyo yan makita sa ating sinclaironline.com slash LMS. Again, tayo for general subjects, that is online classes. For uh, laboratories, for uh, life skills, for life success uh, subjects, electives, and practical subjects, ito ay face-to-face. -face. Talaga naman holistic ang approach natin dito sa St. Clair College. High-tech na, high-touch pa. ba? Diba? Meron tayong online para hubugin nga ang ating mga estudyante sa paggamit at mahasa sila sa pag-utilize ng information and communications technology para sa kanilang information literacy at para naman sa effective at psychomotor ay ang ating face-to-face -face classes. Kaya kung ano ang gusto mo, online or face-to-face, -face, meron yan dito sa atin sa St. Clair College. Ayan. At alam kong excited na excited na kayo kaya kung nakinig kayo, eto na. Papunta na tayo, sabi nga nila, sa most exciting part. All right. So at this point in time, gaya na nabanggit kanina, magtatanong si Sir Adi, and all you have to do is to text the letter. Oh, may multiple choice, ha? ganyang kadali. Ha? Multiple uh, choice lang tayo. No? You just have to text the letter of the correct answer to the number that I gave earlier. O, nababasa ko sa comments kanina. Ano nga po ulit yung number ni Sir? O, siguro, hindi nakatuto kanina. O, sige, uulitin natin, ha? The number that you have to text your correct answer is, again, makinig mabuti, is 0905-546-8966. Again, 0905-549-8966. Okay? Mga anak, iti-text lang, hindi nyo kailangang mag-call. Ayan, o. Oh. Tsaka hindi kailangan maging textmate. Okay? Correct answer lamang. Ayan, handa na ba kayo? Eto na. For our 5,000 pesos. Wow, 5,000 pesos, no? Grabe, pang down payment na yan sa college, dalawa na kayo dyan. Diba? Talaga namang napakagandang regalo from St. Clair. Ito po ang ating katanungan. Oh, letter, letter lang ang kailangan, ha? Ano nga ulit ang subjects na kailangan daluhan ng face-to-face? -face? Okay? What are the subjects to be conducted face-to-face -face sa ating blended? Letter A, general subjects B life skills PDP and laboratory subjects or letter C none of the above again don't forget to include the uh, right letter of the correct answer and also your name para tayo ay ma, para kayo ay ma-identify again the question is ano nga ba ang subjects natin since blended na tayo may online at face to face ano ang mga subjects na kailangan face to face is it A general subjects Letter B, life skills, professional development program, and laboratory subjects, or C, none of the above. Okay? So, mamimili tayo nga na ng just one. O, di ba? Solo. One winner of 5,000 pesos. Gawin kaya natin dalawa ng 2,500. 5,000. Isang 5,000 lang ang gusto talaga. Okay? Para talagang ma-enjoy niya bago ang ating official opening of the blended learning modality classes. No? So, okay. Magiging fair ako dahil ayoko ma-issue. <laughs> Ayan. So, titingnan natin ang tamang sagot. Okay. So, ayan. 
Yun na po na. Wait lang ha, napakabilis. So, binabacktrack natin. Okay, here. Parang natawag ko na siya kanina. O, give chance sa others tayo, ha. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Okay, wait lang. Okay, medyo madami. Wait lang po. To make sure na tama ang makuha nating sagot. Okay. Walang pangalan, anak. Sayang. Okay. Ayan. Tama ba? Ito bang una? O, make sure ko lang na tama. Ana, yun ang una, ha? Okay. Okay. I think we already have our winner of 5,000 pesos. Wow! 5,000 pesos, ha? Ito talaga. Um, pwede natin ipa-verify mamaya, no? Again, the question is, ano nga bang subjects ang i-co-conduct natin face-to-face? A, general subjects. B, life skills, PDP, and uh, elective or laboratories, or C, not of the above. Kung nakinig mabuti, anong tamang sagot? Letter? Very good. Letter B. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang letter A na general subjects ay para sa online classes. Pero kung ito ay life skills, professional development program, ito ay laboratory subject or electives para sa senior high school, yaan po ay face-to-face -face classes. Kaya naman ang winner, napakaswerte naman ito sa araw na ito ay mula sa BSHM. Ayan, kung ikaw ay galing sa HM or hospitality management or HRM, napakaswerte. Siya talaga ang una. Timestamp 1209. Congratulations! You are the first, uh, you are the winner of our 5,000 pesos for today. And thank you for tuning in today. Congratulations to Geraldine E. Camacho. Okay, second year student natin. Ay, walang year pala, no? Pero course na kalagay, no? Geraldine E. Camacho, congratulations. You are our winner of 5,000 pesos for giving the correct answer sa pagtutok sa ating startup module day 1. Ayan. Pero, huwag kayong malungkot dahil meron pa tayong grand prize again sa tabi pa ni Sir Adi. Hindi pa natin nakukuha o hindi pa natin napipilang winner ng ating brand new cellphone. Pero bibitinin ko lang kayo ng kaunti because... Siyempre, we started with the bang. Kaya dapat we have to finish strong our episode 1 of Startup Module. Kaya naman to give us a very inspiring message also from the office of the guidance office. office. Ayan o, oh, palakpakan po natin yung nag-iisang Dr. Lita S. Sago. Hello, good noon and good afternoon to all of us Clarians. My special greetings to our highly esteemed and highly respected President, Dr. Clarita G. Adalem, equally beloved and highly esteemed Vice Presidents, Dr. Ernesto Ray and Dr. Ernesto J. Adalem, and to our Dean of Life Skills for Life Success, Dean Henry Tenidero, to all program heads, to all teachers, to all parents who must be listening right now, and of course, to the very important people, to all of you, our dear students. Today marks the start of 2022-2023 school year. At the outset, I would like to welcome everyone to St. Clair College, the old students, the new students, and the transferees. Kamusta po kayo? Sana po ang lahat ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. Pero kwidaw tayong lahat 
mag-ingat pa rin. Sumunod sa mga protocols, take care, and always stay safe. So this is Dr. Lita Sagun from the Center of Guidance Services wishing you all a happy and exciting first day of the school year. Everyone I know is eager to start schooling. We should be thankful to the Lord because amidst the pandemic and the unseen enemy, we have successfully hardened the bad times in the past years and right now we are still alive active and kicking for this year the center for guidance services have prepared many programs for you to be enhanced to be more developed to be more coached and mentored with quality education this is embodied in our support and responsive services of the guidance program so why do we give this it is for you to become more successful in the days to come and um, these different guidance services will really propel you to become better to succeed in the future days so i am inviting you people to listen again by next Saturday because I will be discussing to you all of these services. Kasi kung i-discuss ko ngayon, aabutin tayo hanggang 3 o'clock o kaya hanggang hapon sa dami ng services na ipoprovide namin sa inyo sa taong ito. And so, must I say, people, you should do your best in your studies this school year so that you will realize your dreams. Alam namin at alam ninyo na kayo ay nasa eskwelahan ng pangarap. At lahat dito sa St. Clair College, ang lahat ng inyong pangarap ay matutupad, hindi mauunsyami. But then, you need a lot of effort so that you will achieve your, your dream. And so people, be guided accordingly. And you should know that in these times, you must always have a positive outlook in life to promote positive quality education. So I would like to tell you lastly that St. Clair College, in here, you are in good hands. And your success is our concern. Again, good day and good afternoon. Thank you. God Again, maraming maraming salamat po from our Guidance Services Office, Dr. Lita S. Sagun. Again, she's inviting everyone na tayo ay manood ngayong Startup Module Day 3, that's on Friday, para i-discuss ano nga bang iba't ibang services ng ating, guide, ating Guidance Office. O kanina nabasa ko no, sa ating mga chat box, bakit daw? O issue agad, kayo talaga, nagparafal na nga in issue pa. Ayan no. Ayan, so let me just clarify po. No? Sabi nila, bakit daw 12.09 yung ating winner? No? I would like to uh, correct that. So kung mamaya ipopost ko po sa inyo, I have the screenshot, but let me clari uh, clarify on that. Yung ating pong winner na si Camacho Geraldine, yung nabanggit ko pong 12.09 kanina, ay yung kanyang unang sagot sa tanong na blended learning modality. So ayan po, no? siya ay sumagot sa ating ibang question, which is 12.09. 
Pero yung kanyang sagot na letter B about the face-to-face -face subjects, ito ay pumasok ng 1240. So, pwede natin ipakita for our director. Ayan, no? For transparency purposes. Ayan. Yung 1209 po na nabanggit ko kanina, ay yan po yung kanyang unang participation sa ibang question. Pero yung kanyang sagot about the face-to-face -face classes, ay 1240. Ay, hindi ba? Papusa lang po natin yan para makita ng ating mga students no? na tayo ay transparent and very fair po. Okay? Don't worry mga anak, no? wala tayong bias dito. Yun talaga ang ating unang sagot. At uh, pwede kayong pumunta dito to check my phone. <laughs> di ba? Pwedeng pwede yan. Di ba? Don't worry. Okay, pa-check po ng time. Ayan, o. Oh, nandito po. Okay. Okay. Ayan, nandito po yan. Okay. O mga anak, sabi, bakit po ako nag-message ng 12.39? O paalala ko lang, anak, iba't iba po ang oras natin. Depende po yan kung anong oras din pumasok ang inyong text message. Okay? Ayan. O, maging masaya na lang po tayo dun sa winner. Kayo naman. Meron pa naman tayo. Don't forget, meron pa tayong brand new cellphone. Okay. O, ayan. Okay. Ayan, o, cellphone naman, o, very good, o, very positive, maraming salamat, ayan. Okay, paad po, thank you so much, okay. O, di ba ganyan talaga dapat positive, no? Kaysa gawa natin pa ng issue, tapos saya-saya natin ngayong araw, di ba? Let's not spoil the day. Kaya naman, hindi ko na patatagalin pa ang ating grand prize, okay. Okay, ang ating grand prize question, ito, medyo hihirapan natin ng konti. At dito lang talaga masusubok ang inyo galing kung kayo ay nakinig at bilis, no? All right, ready na ba? Okay. Okay, ayan, ayan. Okay. Ready na? Again, same number tayo. Ulitin ni Sir Ari yung number na 0905-546-8966. Okay, now... The question is, o, galing sa talk po, no? O sa inspirational message ng ating Dean Hel. O, wag po nagmi- yung iba po nagmi-miss call po. Hindi po natin sasagutin yan. Text message lang po, okay? Para po fair sa lahat. Okay, now. Kanina po ay diniscuss sa atin ni Dean ang kalagaan o ang, ang relevance or essence ng life skills for life success. At ito po ay nade-divide sa five categories. Kaya naman, ang tanong natin, medyo pahirapan natin ng kaunti, no? Ano nga po ba or what are the five categories of life skills for life success program as mentioned and discussed by Dean Henry S. Tinedero? Lima po yan, dapat kumpleto para manalo ng ating brand new cellphone. Okay? Again, what are the five categories of life skills for life success program? Ayan, makikita talaga natin kung sino ang... Okay, o. Oh. Ang bilis na kamacho, Geraldine. ba? Diba? O, okay, na-timestamp ko ulit, ha? Ang bilis talaga mag-type ni Camacho Geraldine, pero since nanalo ka na ng 5,000, give chance to others tayo. Next po. Okay. Tingnan natin. Okay, mali. Lima po, ha? Okay. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, very good. Confirm. Confirm po ang kanyang sagot. Pumasok po ng... Paano timestamp nito? Wait lang. Inulit-ulit niya po, no? pero yung una yung you honor natin. Okay. Mamay to check ulit natin. Double, wait lang po, ah. Para sure tayo. Siyempre, yung mga uh, negatrons natin. No? ba diba? Okay. Check natin. Okay. Paano ba i-check ito? To make sure lang. Okay. Wait lang. Ayaw mapindot, I'm sorry. Pero siya talaga yung nauna, sayang naman. Pero kompleto naman at tama naman yung sagot. Ang bilis silang mag-type. Takahanda na. Okay. Papa-assist tayo. Hindi ko ma-check yung ano, timestamp. Pero siya yung nauna nakita ko. Ayan, ma'am, pa-verify na lang po. Nauna ulit si Camacho, kaya lang nanalo na siya. So, second winner tayo. Ayan. Ito na pala. 
pa times eto time stamp niya hindi ko makaya papacheck lang natin yung time stamp pa para iwas issue <laughs> Ayan, oh, while we are, uh, while our director, Ma'am Joy Naturalis, is verifying our winner for today, no? Chinecheck lang ating timestamp ng ating uh, lucky winner of brand new cellphone. I would like to take this opportunity. Again, enrollment is still ongoing. Punta lang tayo sa sinclaironline.com slash IMS. Para naman po sa inyong mga sectioning, scheduling, and more information, punta tayo sa sinclaironline.com LMS. Pero naman po sa ating face-to-face -face enrollment, we are open Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Ayan, no? And syempre, we are inviting everyone to please also participate on the day 2 of our startup module kung saan makakasama natin. Again, Attorney Petronilio Alarcon and yours truly to discuss to us ano nga ba ang mga dapat tandaan or the guidelines and policies of UNIFAS or the Unified Financial Assistance for Tertiary Students, di ba? Maraming nagtatanong sa atin, ano nga ba ang mga requirements? Pwede na po ba magpasa ng requirements? Ano po ba yung mga kailangan? Lahat po yan ay masasagot. Again, that will be on Wednesday. Same time, 9, 12, nakita na yun? 12.54. Okay, 12.54 as verified by our director. Okay. Now, our uh, five answers, no? Correct five answers. Ano nga po ba ang five categories ng ating life skills program? We have one, the personal management, correct? Number two, purposeful, full, com purposeful, full communication. Three, gainful perceptions. Four, mindful perception. And five, social interactions. Again, verified ang ating winner. Napakaswerte naman talaga, no? Our winner of brand new cell phone. Pwede, pwede mo nang kunin yan dito. Tumakbo ka na. Congratulations from BSBA. Congratulations to Laureline Bunyao. Again, that's Bunyao or Bunyao. Again, congratulations from BSB Laureline Bunyao. You are our winner of brand new cell phone. Punta ka na dito at sanapin mo si Sir Adi para maklaim na ang iyong price now na. Ayan, okay? Ayan, so again, maraming maraming salamat to all of our students. Talaga namang napuno tayo ngayon. Kanina, meron na tayong mga inspirational messages, motivational messages. We welcome pa tayo ng ating academic heads. Diniscuss din na nga sa atin ang health and security. Kasama na rin dyan ang mga reminders for blended learning. Talaga naman busog na busog tayo ngayong araw ng startup module. Day 1 pa lamang yan. Again, I will see you on day 2, okay? So again, maraming maraming salamat din sa lahat ng ating mga sadyante na nakatutok pa rin. No? Hindi talaga tayo binitawan ngayon. Oh, don't worry sa mga hindi pinalad ngayong araw. Magkita-kita tayo sa startup uh, module day 2. That will be on Wednesday 9 to 12. Sinclair Online YouTube channel. Kaya naman, mas marami tayo on Wednesday. Again, Unifast Orientation. And on Friday, ang ating Senior High School Voucher Program. Okay? Again, maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga ka-shoutout mga classmates. On behalf of Sir Chami Ortega and our Director Ma'am Joyna Torales, Welcome back, St. Clair College students. Welcome back to St. Clair College, your school for life, for life success. Thank you so much and good afternoon, everyone.
achievements and goals are a light to our path. The soul of all is done. And you're a mark to us, those in need of your life.